My name is Blessing Kolawale, and it's all about YouTube today. I will be talking about YouTube and how you can make money from it. I've been blessed to be part of the few people that make money on YouTube till date, and I'll give you all it takes. I'll tell you the misconceptions. Everything is about YouTube. Apparently, there is no limit to how much you can make on YouTube. Uh, thousands upon thousands of dollars. I tell you, YouTube is one of the best places to make money. And uh, the fact that you can do this across anything at all is why I love this. And I say welcome to the party today. All right, let me say hi to all of us. Guna Mawaka says hello. Good evening. Chinez. TV says, good evening, my Bologna teacher. Happy Sunday. Okay, says, please, what is the problem? You told me that you will send me the website and my article since Tuesday, but up to now, I did not hear anything. Yes, sometimes we are human. Uh, if I'm to address that, it's funny how people think maybe teachers are robots, but we are also human. Uh, and the relationship we have is not like a customer-client relationship. Otherwise, we would be billing. I don't know how, if that makes sense. Okay, let me put it this way. If I write an article for any of my clients, it's $15 minimum. That's the least if you're ordering like much. In Nigeria money, if you order for $15, a dollar is about 900 and something now. That means you're going to pay about 15000 for one article. Hence, in that order, you get paid like huge. Then you, and that's the basics. That's like the least. But when you are in my classroom and you want to order articles, I just do it as if you employed my staffs on my behalf. So I pick 5,000 Naira for one article. Naira, not dollars, Naira. Now, I'm doing that to do a lot of support, but it also comes with this uh, length of delivery sometimes and if i say i'm going to deliver something on tuesday i know i can like the website you said i've already done it and made it but another problem is you have like maybe a thousand people dragging you at the same time wanting the same thing at the same time so sometimes i need a little bit of nudge like you if i tell you i'm going to drop something on tuesday please ask me again on tuesday i guarantee you i can even call your website name but i don't want to do it I have done all the registration, the, uh, what's it called? The articles you said, we've written it and we've done everything. But most time, you know, all this plagiarism and all of that. We don't do AI here, so we have original content. I go through them myself and then over and over I do that. And if I want to give my best, especially if you're in my class, I don't want to give you an article my staff wrote and give it to you like that. They are good, but I know they are not at my level of writing. And I want to give you that extra nudge. So most time I delay. Sometimes articles are already three months, two months. And because of my own work, which I apologize for, was just in a bit to give the best of the best of the best. That's just the only thing. And I always pinch myself. I can't give you something that I don't have 100% believe in. A lot of people can do it, but I don't know how to do it. So I prefer you abuse me, I'm late, or you para for me and I you know, go about things. But at least I deliver the best. Better late than never, they say. So. I'm so sorry about that. Please, we're going forward. Please just nudge me. I've had somebody says, if you promise me something, you should do I said, this is not customer. Because if you are doing, if you are my customer, like if I see you as a customer, I bill you that way and then we work that way. That was why I don't do, or that is not worse. That is why I don't do most of my work on Fiverr anymore. You know, you grow to a level. I'm no, you can't tell me I should deliver what, when. Somebody even said something to me yesterday. I, I was like, okay. I'll pay you back your money. I don't want to do the job again. I've already done the job. But you know, this finishing of these things, they are the main deal. Anybody can write article. But will it rank? So I make sure I give you articles that will rank. So the, you see that report of that research to put all those LSI keywords that will make it rank and make sure I do things on it. It takes hours. But if you don't want me to give you an article, I'll give you an article. Article, write article. Only me, I can add 30 articles in one day. So if you order 10 articles and you say it's six months or three months, it's almost nothing, basically, but just to put in that extra pressure, plus all the work I'm doing. Now I think I'm biting more than I can chew. And sometimes I just pity myself. But it has been my weakness. <laughs> and let me confess that. 
sorry, I'm using my other hand to hold my phone. So I can't really, you know, I'm at home. It's my weakness. I I do I don't like to have free time. And I'm confessing to everybody today. <laughs> I don't when they say a hand that is not really working is the devil's workshop, they told us that Heli, I think I was in GSS2 when one of my teachers explained it to me. And from GSS2, I have this narrative. I must do things that I can never finish. I prefer to be under pressure than to be relieved. And that has been my practice. Hence, that's what makes me African giant. When I was on Fiverr, only Fiverr those days, I was making a lot of money. At some point, I had a benchmark of $3,000. But then, dollar was not as high, so it wasn't like big money. But then I kept doing that. But my normal nature, I was crushing it, but I was having extra time. So I loaded that extra time with Kindle. So I started Kindle publishing. And you know, you have to study, you have to write, be approved, you know, test out everything and make sure you get the book covers, get the titles, keyword research. It took me about months upon months, sometimes years, before I became the master of Kindle. And then Kindle started paying me. The highest money I made on Kindle, 2200 in one month. But regularly, my base for Kindle is $700. I really don't hype myself up with all these things. I'm not one of those YouTubers that will tell you they made uh, $500,000. <laughs> Me, I know they deceive myself. Because if I tell you I've made uh, $300,000, wait, wait till I take and buy. <laughs> I mean, don't be this Nigeria. I don't be Nike with this. Wait till they buy. So I don't really stress myself. I just say the truth. Look, my truth is my life today is better than 95% of Nigerians. <laughs> And I'm sorry if I'm just calling figures out of my head. So why should I lie again? I don't need to put myself at top one. You know what I'm saying? So how much is minimum wage? People in the bank, how much do they earn? The bank managers, even with the ones they are stealing, how much? Because we see them on the road. I can guarantee you. We, we know everybody. So why should I still come and lie on top of what I'm already doing? No, there is no point. So I tell you the truth. It was like base of 700. That's what I base it. If it goes up one to 900, you know. <clears throat> And I was Kindle. As soon as I mastered that, because there's one thing with this online that most people don't know. When you start, it's always very difficult. Some of you are online beginners, and then you are thinking, when will I get here? How will I make money? You are overthinking this thing. Maybe because you are seeing a lot of people telling you they are successful. During my time when I started online, there was nobody teaching anything on YouTube. Nobody saying anything as a blog. So I didn't have anybody to look up to saying he's making 5,000. So I wasn't under pressure. I think we are the ones pressurizing you. Because all of a sudden, you want to have this good life. You want to buy cars. You want to also live in big duplexes. Nobody was in front of me. So I just needed, what, $100? I didn't even have a target, really, when I started. I just wanted to make money online. That was all. Even if it's $5. And when I got my $5, I was super excited from Fiverr. And that was it. I just kept pushing. But by and large, it started growing, growing, growing. So I was under pressure. But I, when I got fast, because, you know, when you start, you write one article. My first article ever was for one month. I wrote a 1,000 article for a whole month because I didn't know how to write. Nobody was to teach me anything. Now you can just Google anything. or You can't find that in those days. Nobody knows it. So I figured it out, figured it out, tried out a lot of things for a month before I understood what it was. Then we switched it to books. And now, from writing books to writing articles, then I asked my clients, how about blogging? Like, what do you use these articles you're asking me to write? How do you pay me $10 those days? To write you one article of 1,500 words and you're ordering 30 from me. What are you doing with these articles? That was when they told me about blogging. And then I went into it. Because I was fast now, I could write a book in a day. I write 25,000, 30,000 word book every day. It got to a time I was writing 60,000 book in a day. I became a monster in writing because my brain started working fast. I learned speed reading. I learned typing fast. You know, all these juicy things that makes you fast online. The work I do, for those of us who don't know, I have about 1,000 students in my classroom. And I attend to everybody. You can see the complaints you have. I'm the only one that works on all my classroom. I don't have any staff doing anything for any of my students. I do everything by myself. And I'm still the one in charge of every of my things. But what you should notice is, even I come to live every day, even when it's uncomfortable. Today is not comfortable. It rained all through today in Abuja. But I still make sure I am here, even on my bed, to ensure that I'm here. So if there's going to be any complaint, one of the things I hate most is anybody complaining without getting attended to. I, I'm not, I don't shy away from complaints. 
you know i see your comments before i read it out if you talk anything like just this one i just read i could decide to skip it nobody will know even if anybody's gonna know maybe people are reading comments but i'll say it out even if you say something i have done wrong i'll say it out if i want to also banter you back i'll banter you back i'm not shying away from everyone criticizing me i'm a big dog in the yard so i'm not i don't have any problem but at the end of the day the reason why i read every comment and attend to everyone is so that i can solve the problem i, I don't see problem as problem i see them as opportunities to always make another point so even if you dislike me today if i got you understand you can ask a girl out those days who are still younger and then she tells you eh, no or says your head is this or your nose is this you know but those of us are small nose <laughs> Come on, man. Why did I talk about nose today again? But then you know what I'm saying. So at the end of the day, fast forward to two, three months, she might probably tell you a yes. So it's not a problem for you to tell me a problem. I will just solve it. And every problem has a solution. All of the problems. Some people don't know. Even if you say, ah, but the person will die. Death as well is a solution to a problem. Because uh, it's part of, that's the way I look at it. If something dies as well, it doesn't really die. It becomes fertilizers to some things and manuals and then uh, the spirit will also transcend into a new world where you can do well again without blemishes you know so it's all good and that's how i keep going from place to place but this thing i just told you which is supposed to be a strength is also a weakness because now when i started with african giant channel it was just one channel i could do two videos i was in 38 two videos per day when i started the channel i started videos I would have 30 uh, video content in a month, 40, 36, like I could produce anything. And that was the start. So imagine now that I did like one hour, those days I was editing like eight hours. If I edit on video, my video on YouTube, on this channel, it's eight hours. I'll spend about eight hours editing because I was starting to learn editing like about two years ago. So I wasn't that good. I was slow. Now I'm extremely fast. I know everything. So I'm fast now, but I can't even produce more. Why? Because I have 14 channels. So I'm spreading thin because I'm looking for more trouble. And that's why money flows in from every angle. It's over two weeks I've released videos last on this channel, apart from these lives. Although, you know, it makes money. I still check it today. I think the channel has made about $7.80, $7.40. Okay, $7.40. I've not done anything for two weeks and I could still say, oh, there's $7.40 somewhere, which is incredible. That's why I even wanted to talk about it today when I saw that. Like, this is absolutely incredible. You've done nothing on the channel, and you still have about $740 Nigerian money. That's what, that's still about 600, 700,000 naira doing nothing. You know, that's incredible because it's YouTube. Don't forget, I'm using my time for some things that I think is going to blow whatever I'm up. But in my brain, I'm like, this is what everybody should be doing. So, because. <laughs> Your teachers, your pastors, your imams, everybody's on YouTube. They're making money on YouTube. Content creation. And I look through the way I set up everything that I have around. I'm telling you, I am excited about it. And I feel everybody should do it. I even told my wife today. My wife is used to homesteading. Homesteading is a process whereby you plant things in your house. It's not like you're doing a farm, but you plant things around you. So she plants, if she cuts yam, the head of the yam, she plants seeds, you know, just random things like that. And then I told her, I said, babe, why are you not creating content around this thing? You know, women are always around in the house, all those planting vegetables, plant little pepper here and there. And those things actually are massive. Because sometimes when we harvest those uh, yams, you probably harvest like six, seven tubers. In Abuja, five tubers is about 8,000 naira. Although sometimes I'll tell her, I said, so for the last 10 months, you have only done 16,000 for two bars of yam. But it's enjoyable when you plant things on your own and you can see them grow. Even the children are always very excited. So you see her watering it. You do. So I'm like, okay, just create content around this thing because a lot of people do it. And she has a very lot, she has loads of unique things she knows. She sews, she's a tailor, she knows how to sew. That's also included. You have things you blend, you have all this kind of food you make. I'm just like, just create these things around your lifestyle. And it's a content. A lot of people will like to pattern things after you, which is what I do. When I'm exercising my body, I put it on Giant Fitness. It's a channel. No, like I'm not doing that because I want to make money on it. 
But because I am getting fit, guess what's happening? Giant Fitness is getting views. When I start watching football in the office now, because, you know, before I like to watch football outside so I can get to people, you know, and hear their banters and all. But at some point, you know, if you start getting popular and people recognize you on the street, I really don't like it. I don't like meeting people that much. So I said, okay, let's put the DSTV in the office. And then I said, okay, let's do watch along. Yesterday, Asna played, I was there. 19 people joined us to watch. <laughs> I'm like, ah, why are people not successful on YouTube? You understand what I'm saying? I'm not showing Premier League. I'm only showing myself and some of my staffs right in the podcast room. We just use the other side of the podcast for the watch along. And 19 people joined on a brand new channel. <laughs> Second time. The first time, I think we had about 13 people. And then 19 yesterday. So I am just thinking, everybody should do something around their life. And the funniest thing is you already create content. When you're in church, sometimes you're dancing, you record it. Sometimes you're cooking, you record it, but it's on your phone. You didn't create a channel around whatever you know how to do. That is the password to these. I'm going to tell you more about how you get monetized. I'll tell you how you really brand yourself out from the beginning. I'll tell you a lot of things. Even ordinary reaction. I have Blessing Kuala React. It's a reaction channel where I just pack in some bunch of stores. I don't even look for those things. I just told all my staffs to send. I created a WhatsApp group. And I said, if you watch anything on your own that is funny or you think is something you want people to know about, just send me the links. So on a daily basis, they send me 10, 10, 12, 7, you know, links of what they are watching, maybe music or sports or whatever. And then I just go through them and react to them. That's a channel. You know, you have fair use on YouTube where you can react to people's things and all. I thought that on this channel, reaction videos of sometimes pastors, you know, just their opinions and you share your opinion. I do that. Mr. Beast does it. Everybody does that. And it's incredible. You are not even the one making it. You are just reacting to whatever anybody has made. You get what I'm saying? So, varieties. You know sports. Some people know sports like the back of their hands. So, why are you not discussing it and becoming a sports journalist or, you know, there's no day your content will run out. Today, Liverpool played 1 1 with Chelsea. That's like a whole week of content. Because banters, you banter Chelsea fans, you banter Liverpool fans, who they are they buying, what's their signing, blah, blah, blah. You just go through it like that. And it is what it is. Sometimes you're in a bad relationship. You don't know what's going on. You can't figure it out. That is a content. Our family college, where I teach all these uh, relationship divorce and all, we even have a podcast for it where we bring in people to, you know, uh, talk to them and all. <laughs> I just remember one that went viral about maybe two weeks ago where the guy said uh, cheating is not uh, unfaithfulness. Like, he doesn't see him cheating on the wife. He's married. That he doesn't see, he's a guest on the podcast. I almost fainted. <laughs> he said cheating is not unfaithfulness. <laughs> that you can be cheating and still be faithful. I'm like, this guy is the solution. Like, how, what, how does that happen? That so you can love your wife and you just feel like having fun and then you go out and sleep with somebody else or whatever. And then you still love your wife and come back. And he doesn't see it as cheating. A lot of people went ballistic on it. I think that was why it went popular. And uh, I've, I've not uploaded the full videos. I just did a shot on that. And it just went boom. You know? I'm just telling you varieties of ways you can create. You can even do street, uh, whatever. You ask questions on the street. People on the street with your phone. You know? And that's content creation as well. YouTube makes money. It's the best way you can make money that will give you peace of mind. And I tell you, it is what it is. But let's go to, to the questions again. Mindful Moment says, it's African Giant Time, my number one Sunday tonic. Good evening, my honorable VC Twalisa. Good evening. Adeko Adewale says, good evening, my emeritus prof, Pastor Kola Wale. I'm sorry, it's Kola Wale, but I call myself like that. Pastor Kola Wale. <laughs> says, happy Sunday to you, sir. How are you and the family? We thank God we're doing good. Gift of justice, good evening. Happy Sunday. Yes, happy Sunday. Patrick Chibuzo says, I greet you, sir. Good evening. Justice Uzondu says, good evening, daddy. Daddy B, happy Sunday. Good evening. Gift of Justice, I love you and God bless you. And I love you too. Thank you and God bless you too. Digital Expert TV says, good evening, sir. Good evening. Okechuku Biribe says, good evening, Pastor B. Now is the best time to earn in dollars. I can agree less. You can imagine earning... $1,000, and that's about a million naira. 
like <laughs> some of us are like in heaven i just told everybody i just i was increasing everybody's money like you know the money is to in-laws families that you give every month and wife and all i just multiply it by two because when we started, for example, whoever I give 100,000 to, when dollar was on 500 and it's something, nice, nice something, I can just give you 200, basically. And it will still not do anything to me because I, nothing is changing. The same, because on YouTube, you still hand the same. On blogging, you hand the same. Everywhere. Affiliate marketing pays you the same. The economy in dollars is not affected by Bala Blue of Tenobu here in Nigeria. So, nothing changes. But you go to the bank and you withdraw. So it's actually a good time, like the best time for anyone to earn in dollars because you can power that into investment, improve your life if you want to. Everything just goes smoothly. But the work is there. I think that's one thing most people are missing. The work is there. You might be looking at me now because you are home. I'm, I'm like a relaxing tonic to you because I'm just speaking, you are listening. I'm the one doing, I'm working. I'm talking. I'm not even comfortable. You can see I'm just lying down on the bed. I'm supposed to be sleeping or probably watching movies too, but, but I'm not. But this is what it takes, a grind. And most people don't want to grind. Most people don't want to grind. We can, we can complain all we want. We can say, I've tried something all I would like. Whatever you have tried, I'm telling you what works. But you are only trying those things that won't work, but they told you it's easy. Somebody told me he wants to do KDP on his phone. I said, it's not possible. He said, hey, maybe that's for me. I said, it's possible. This thing I'm saying was about nine months ago. So I said, okay, let's place a bet. I'll give you 100,000 Naira if you can make $1,000 using your phone for KDP. And then we created a bet. So now look at, look at how Nigerians are horrible. I am a pastor. I'm the senior pastor of the church. I'm the number one there. This guy told me, he said, I'm talking as a human being that I'm ridiculing God on his life. He played me the emotional game. <laughs> See, I'm ridiculing God on his mind. That God will surprise me. That we win that money. That we collect down the thousand. That heaven will help him. That in my mind, I'm like, <laughs> but whoever your pastor is, they have taught you wrongly. And uh, in another, we, we did the bet for six months. So I said, in another six months, we will be clear. I'll hand you over 100,000, 100%. Just get me the screenshot and uh, that's all I need to see. He didn't come for the six months. He came back eight months. Eight months, he messaged me because I saved now. I saved his number. Let me mention his name. Let me just use bless as if that's his name. So I saved the number with blessing, bet, God will surprise you. <laughs> I, that was how I saved it on my phone like that. And then he came back eight months. Immediately I saw the message because I'd forgotten actually, you know, a lot of conversations. And then I opened it. I said, ooh, you are here to win my money. He said, Pastor B, God is really using you. <laughs> I was like, oh, love, oh, love, oh, love, oh, love, oh, love, oh, love. Why are you interested in always mentioning God into everything? He was like, ah, when I said he can't make it, he can't do it, that he felt I was ridiculing him, that God was surprising, that he did seven days fasting, you know. Just to first of all break yoke, and I'm like, who put yoke for your head? I don't get yoke. Now, only blessings I get. There is nothing I yoke in my If somebody offends me, I don't even lay curse on them. You know, some people say, I'm a man of God, I'll curse you. I don't curse anybody. Yo. My mouth like this is to bless. I'm to increase people, not to decrease them. So, even if you cheat me, God will cover it for me in another place. Just carry yourself. Back. Let me say it my normal way. Just carry your Jack Bajanti self and go. Leave me alone. I'm not ready to curse anyone. People have cheated me very well, though. Took my money, run, you know. I don't they cost anybody. You. I don't get mouth to cost. The only matter I have is to bless. And that's it. So, you know, and I said, so how far about it? How much did you make? He said, nothing. <laughs> Eight months, you made nothing. I said, so why is that so? He said, everything you told me that I didn't listen to that time, that after the eight months, he kept remembering that he wanted to win my money. In, you know, now he has learned a lot of things, a lot of orders, you know. And then he went back to the chart. And then his king grab, he said, look at them, that all of them are true. I said, yes, it's easy. Look, the day you convince yourself to go through the hard rock to success, that's the day you become successful. 
if you are still thinking the faith you have is better than others or they told you that there's a spiritual blessing that just pump you into success without anything you are you see you are being scammed you're under disillusion god is not sleeping you think he doesn't have power to go and say let everything run and go to bed <laughs> can you be more powerful than the almighty who created the heaven and earth and stayed with it without sleeping he's walking he created you in his own image but you you are looking for the free one they are telling you there is grace i've even had pastors big pastors who will say if you are on a wrong road god can bring the door to the good road to that wrong road <laughs> God doesn't change the standard because of you. Who are you? In the era of 9 billion people that God is talking to, all of a sudden you are the most special one. You are the second brother of Jesus now that God, <laughs> that God has called. He has called you to save the world. You are deceiving yourself. You are what? You are flesh. You are flesh. No matter how powerful you think you are in the spirit, you are in flesh. No flesh can get to anything because it's only by grace. And that grace is already estimated and explained how it works. In the world, you need to labor. He says, you are going to face difficulty. Say, but you should smile. He has already conquered the world. What's that telling you? You need to navigate through this difficulty. But they tell you grace will do it. When they are shouting grace in church, amen, amen, amen. Yes, immediately you shout that. I'm not saying don't shout amen. Amen, 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 amen. Go back to your drawing board and let that amen work. Let it work. It doesn't just work in abstract. It has to work in reality. Putting things in place, you have to work on things. That is how it works, including YouTube. Because you have to create content back to back. You'll be tired back to back. It is always like that. But if you don't know, now you know. Let's go back to it. <laughs> I think I'm having a nice time today. I feel a little bit more relieved. There's a lot of cold. I've been having cold. I could feel it too much of uh, AC, they told me. So I had to calm down a little. Uh, Digital Spark says, good evening, sir. Good evening. Momo Meza says, good evening, sir. It's nice to see you again. As your family and rock dollar is now 900 plus. Yes, it's good. It's like having a cow that has hunchback. It's more meat for the owner. <laughs> Kenneth Apuru says, good evening from here. And happy Sunday. Good evening. First of all, here, Mose says, it's my boss. Good evening. Good evening. Shala Mohammed says, good evening, everyone. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Api Oginibo says, good evening, sir. Good evening. Nshoka Kamumbo. Hmm. He says, how is your office now? Uh, let me see that. I'm clicking too much. How is your office now? So you are finished now. Yes. Uh, I have finished, but you know the the there is a part for our live programs. So that part of live programs, we finished all the audio settings, everything. We finished the podcast completely. I finished my office. Then I decided to make a YouTube studio in between. So that YouTube studio, we are doing the uh, interior. I just I just don't want to be recording my videos from my office again because you know my office is not padded, so you can hear some echoes. That's why sometimes I go to the podcast to record my videos. But I'm not really feeling it. Like, I just want a new ambience. So, and I still have more, you know, where I got, I have plenty of rooms. I took a whole house. So, I still have an extra room. So, I created the YouTube studio there. And that one, we are doing it. Then the main place, where we'll be having a live programs. That one, we, we need the video end of things. So, the VHR cables and all, that's the one we'll be doing monday tuesday so let's say by wednesday we should have finished all of those and then i start uh, uh, test running so when i have live like these lives and all i could teach directly with my uh, what's it called boards and all you know i just want to improve everything because it's a full digital studio for everything so i think that's it but 98 percent is done like 100 percent. i actually have tested some and you know, there is not just that. We have some instruments. Yeah, and there. Would, uh, we, have, we need people to play those. So I got some other people like yesterday. So I want them to come in and practice with, you know, the saxophones, the drums, the keyboard, the guitar, bass, lead, everything. I created like I want to be doing worship hour myself. And I'm starting with hymns. So this week, I'm sure I'll do the hymns. 
I just want to all the hymns, you know, hymns. I I attended Anglican when we were younger, so we have hymns, and then I pastored CAC for about a year, so we have hymns, and I can't find them online. That's even why I'm starting from it. As the day I recorded this very short video, I wanted to put him behind. I was looking for hymns. I can't find it. It's only Ibo 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 him. Ah, so I swear you robot hymns. Oh, okay, we'll start from there. So I'm going to record like. Uh, uh, the one I budget of Friday will do like 15 hymns, you know, and that is it. So that's what I'm starting from. But everything is just my production, just what I enjoy, and it is what it is. Thank God for everything. It's not been easy. That thing was gulping, gulping money. But I'm, we are good to go now. King Conrad says, Good evening, Pastor B. Thanks for all your efforts. Thank you very much. Mindful Moment says, uh, What's the minimum amount of pictures to use on a blog post? There's no minimum. You can use as many as you want. But I don't really use pictures. I only use one, which is my future image. I don't even put pictures on my real page. And the reason for that is because I'm going to monetize. And, you know, monetization ads come like pictures. So they come like images. If you have, let's say, five, six images, and then monetization puts another five on it, it now becomes as if you're having an album instead of a blog post. So I don't put any image. I just allow Google to put only their image. Make it visible is a technique that makes you helps you make more money because people don't have to navigate through a lot of you know images, they can just read and see your adverts, you know, once and for all. So, one for me, but depends on what you're doing because you know, some uh, there's some blog posts that involve you showing what you're saying. In that case, you have to add them, but I really don't add much images basically. Okay. Happy beginning, but says, sir, when sir, is the Facebook monetization class going to start? When is it going to start? Now, I don't have a class for Facebook monetization yet. Hmm. But now that you mentioned it, but I'm even still recording a lot of classes. So maybe after I finish this, I don't want to add more to my problem. I know I already have enough. <laughs> I have enough on my plate. But after I finish everything, maybe I'll come back to Facebook and uh, teach that in one Literature Hub. 247 says, Good evening, Pastor. Good evening. Rams of Koinonia says, Good evening, African Giant. I expected your response concerning the article you promised to work on. That was just yesterday night. You people should cut me some slacks. I saw the message yesterday night and I, I thought I would be able to go to the office afternoon after church and everything. But it rained from morning, from midnight till this night. It was still raining. That's not where I would. So far, so far, so far like that because of one article. So tomorrow we'll continue again. I think that's fair enough. And those are things I said. Uh, sometimes life just treats us like that. It wasn't planned, but it happened. And uh, <laughs> let me see what I usually say. <coughs> Excuse me. Let the VC breathe. <laughs> now that everybody wants to breathe. Lambs of Koenonia, let us. Wait, and you're in Abuja. We, we said we we're supposed to even meet at some point. Now that we are done with the office, maybe we would uh, we'll start. <coughs> One day I'll just put uh, meet and greet. Because if you're in Abuja, of course, we can now see in person. You know, I was trying to just finish the work so I will, my mind will be in one place. I don't want. Uh, and it, it will not even be enjoyable for you, you coming to see me, and then somebody's calling me, they have to buy this year or they want to wear her. So at least. Maybe we'll start working on all those things now. Libration TV says, Boss, you are very sincere. Thank you very much. Vira Funny Shot says, uh, Who taught you blogging? Nobody. I taught myself. Everything I know today, I taught myself. Nobody taught me anything. But then, don't let me say nobody because, ah, should I tell you that? <laughs> okay, I won't tell you where it is. I'll just mention it. There are a few people, who, and this is spiritual, for those who are not, just listen to it. <laughs> And if you want to criticize this, criticize this. I mean, the comment, I would still answer you. The reality is, when it comes to knowledge, God gives it. There's the knowledge of the world. There's a divine knowledge. Knowledge of the world is what you read in books, you know, like that. Divine knowledge is what God gives to you inside, biblically, or by the Spirit of God. For those who hear the Spirit of God speak or talk or whatever means you use, I think there are about five ways it communicates to humans. If you have it, it teaches you like that, right? But in most cases, 
everybody just reads what they are taught in books or mentors, which is the uh, worldly knowledge. It's not divine knowledge. Now, if you operate with worldly knowledge, whatever you read or know, you can guarantee yourself that another 10,000 people know it. Because you read it in books. If you read the team like or rich man, poor dad, or poor people, rich people, whatever, <laughs> whatever book you have read, you're not the only one that read it. Everybody will read. If you join a course, you're not the only one that saw what is in the course. Everybody that joined will see it. So that's human knowledge, like earthly knowledge. It's limited. But when that can be combined with divine knowledge which means what most people don't know what anyone had never seen is just an insight you know it's you just like my classroom for example you can't get it anywhere it, it i didn't get that from books nobody taught me that it's just divinely exposed that's why i tell people the <laughs> it's like i'm throwing a lot of jabs tonight man if everything your pastor sees is somebody will die somewhere, don't travel this way, there's one witch in your house. Those are like two negatives. You can't operate in life. Even you have depression. If everything they see as vision is evil, 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 wrong, 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 fast, fast, key, 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 key. That's too much for a human being to cope with. At least let, let church member breathe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But for me, <laughs> you'll be able to see something constructive. Elon Musk said when he, Tesla that we saw today, that when he had the inspiration to do it, he continued to study and then he was getting inspirations. You see that, uh, uh, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, uh, this man that uh, did real estate and stock bonds, I actually forget his name, even all these Rockefeller family, all of them will always tell you, even Einstein will tell you, all these big uh, scientists will tell you, it's not what they read in books, the inspiration will come on what they read in books that is the spirit of god for continuing creation he drops it to everyone it has nothing to do with jesus coming to the world is the spirit of creation which god gave to human beings in the source at the beginning where we are created so whether you are a buddhist or a christian or anything you have it but if you don't harness it's just like a gift if you don't sharpen your edges you can have a cutlass that is useless it won't cut anything because you didn't sharpen it and if you don't use it regularly you get rusted and then you can't even use it at all. Some of us have gone through rusting. We are no longer human. We've turned to goats, but we don't know. But we are talking, we are breathing. And I'm sorry because I'm going to, I, I think I'm getting to the process of throwing jabs. You know, goats don't really reason. They don't, they just, eh, bah, bah, bah. they eat whatever they see. And that's how most people are living. We just live to whom it may concern. Whatever comes our way is what we agree with. We have no singular plan. Our plans are not coming to pass. You just go to anywhere they want you to go. You can wake up in the morning. You are going to, let's say we say to you, your friend sees you along on that bridge and he says, let's go to beggar. You follow. Because not really. Anywhere they say money is what you are going. And if they say Japa tomorrow, you are ready to Japa to even Yugoslavia. You don't even care if Yugoslavia is the country or whether there is war there or not. Till I'm talking to you, some people, they are ready to go to Ukraine. When they say, they say they will go to the part that they are not fighting or the fight is not getting to. They just want to leave Nigeria. You know, you are no longer human because you don't have the mind of your own. The only mind you exhibit is when you want to fight. Are you talking to me like that? I said, Asana is better than Chelsea. He must be mad. He must be crazy. Hey, go, 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 go. Uh, that's the only mad. And that's how goats behave. Bear, bear, bear. They want to eat their food. They start nodding the next person. <laughs> no, we go to be that. But human beings that operate on that divine knowledge mixed with the knowledge of what they have you can tell they do that twitch. They do things differently. You can see them glowing in an area. They are special. You can't really get to them. A lot of training, a lot of thinking, because you can't just see these things on the surface. Before you can receive divine interventions, <laughs> why do you think pastors go to the mountain and stay there for two months? They are praying, fasting. They are seeking for that divinity to come on them. But some people are gifted at it. They are sharp enough. They don't even know. I don't go to mountains. I stay here. Anything I want to receive, I receive here. Because my I am sharp. I'm like sharp, sharp, sharp. But other people are not. So they go to places to sharpen their swords, sharpen their edges, just to be able to receive. Because you cannot do much with physical eye. You can't do much. Whether in business, I told you when I was multi-choice, is that's what set me apart. Inspiration from divine. 
things that never happened before things nobody's teaching you implement it boom i got the uh, best dealer in uh, southwest like three different years because i'm always the highest sales i sell more than everybody like sometimes if i sell ten thousand decoders the next person to me will sell about two thousand eight hundred Everybody will be asking me when we go for these uh, annual whatever award shows and all. How do you tell? Even if I tell you the one I'm using this year, by next year I have another inspiration to do something else. So knowledge should not be limited to what you learn, what you see. Let divinity expose things to you. That is what makes the difference. And that's why I learned everything I know today. Blog, the way I blog is different. That's why I'm telling people when you watch me, or when you join my class, especially people in the class, and then you see some other channels, they're also teaching you blogging, you're implementing them, you don't scatter everything. People always see them. I'm just smiling. I operate on that divinity. That's why my results are different. I'm in Nigeria. Now, Abuja, I day now. Now, day, I day. I day sleep here, I day eat here. But my results are out of. <laughs> Even people abroad, they're like, yo, 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 you are doing incredibly well. Because I'm not citizens of this world, like most people claim, I just operate under the citizenship of heaven, which is different. Just close your eyes for a second and imagine that your street is not on this your street. And look at your street in heaven where angels are walking by and you are saying high five to angels as if they are your friends. And look at the inspirations in heaven. Just close your eyes and think about these. You are seeing what they are selling in heaven. They're looking at what transaction, what makes it good. How do they get contracts there? How do customers locate them? As if they're, heaven is on earth and earth is in heaven. Just think about that for a moment. And then, if you can speak in their tongues, speak in the tongue of heaven, let God just show you one idea. One. I tell you, don't just use your lips to say ta 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 Just tell, as you are doing ta 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 tell him to jugu betu know. Let him just tell you one thing. One. That's all. One. Some people are drop shipping. Just one product. One. Don't finish. <laughs> and wealth is recreatable. Because you don't need to be wealthy once. Just have access to one thirty million once. That's all. Every other thing becomes easier. Because even with earthly knowledge, you can now start pulling. But to pull to the level of billions, Jeff Bezos said it himself. He said some people will live on uh, 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 surviving, that if you are surviving, you would survive, but you can never ever have money. I heard it myself. Jeff Bezos, the owner of Amazon, said that. He said, The set of people again that are successful are people that lose their careers. If you're a medical doctor, he said, You will get there, you'll be wealthy, you get like two houses, you have one for rent, you have two cars, three cars, you go to abroad. He said, After that, that's all you would ever achieve. That's two. So he calls some people professionals. They are not career owners, they are professionals. Professionals like maybe basketballers or Chattered accountants, you know, all these people that are uh, surgeons. He said those professionals are on another level or business owners or the CEOs and all. He said those ones would have more money. They might have estates, you know, finance stations, all these people or politicians. They do a little bit more. He said, but the fourth set of people who really achieve well in life are those who operate under their calling. Their business said calling. I'm not saying pastor, calling. Your calling is what you are created to do. The impact you are to make in life of people, that is your calling. That comes to you easily when you identify it. And it doesn't. It has nothing to do with how much money you make. But those are the ones that really make this embarrassing money for generations to come. That's calling. He said only 1% of people will ever get there. Calling. So if everything you are doing is based on surviving, you are just also going to pay your rent and all, then the number one base of uh, four instead of four, the number two people are people who are doing things based on salaries. Maybe you are a banker, you go to banking. Aha. You say, but when you're in the banking, some people can take it to professional level. So you see them studying for PhD, you know, they're trying to move up the ladder. They become professionals. They can become directors in banks and all. They have more wealth. They're professionals. You say, but if you identify your calling, that's all. His own was to sell books. <laughs> he said the first time he pitched it to Makuba, and that one said, he realized, you know, normal. They said the same thing with Uber now, when Uber wanted to start. It's divine. You can't say you are. You think about it because it never existed. The classroom I do today never existed. If I go to YouTube, people are doing courses. Some people are even still struggling with it, they are my students. They are used to courses now. You just pay somebody 30000 He says, I have a course for affiliate marketing. He gives it to you. You go. 
you study wudu 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 that's all nothing comes out of it because it's nothing but when i was on youtube i know that doesn't work and then i was looking for inspiration and he said do an online class so this one we are going to be together if you like it's lifetime go and check my cloud courses i put lifetime access so even if you are angry with me today and you go one day you go 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 after one year you remember say if like i say that this man they talk to you come back i won't shut you out i'm still here god forbid that i'm here so when you come back we start again and if it's continuous whatever we continue again that is how it's done in school we did four years five years six years seven years in some cases and if you have carry over you do eight years or nine years <laughs> you know but then you you want to and those things might not even make enough money but you now want to make money and then you are looking for you are looking for something that you do within within three hours some people are like hey i finished the one you uploaded let's do another one now i said the one you have done what have you done with it because you have to also implement you know all those basic things most people might not know but that's inspiration those are the powers of inspiration divine knowledge that the world cannot give if you are operating under human knowledge you are extremely limited because the that's just the truth i'm the one teaching you blogging which day will you do more than me you understand what i'm saying which day so if you're not used to having divine inspiration that's why people even marry wrongly they don't have anything divinity in them so they marry wrongly they don't know how to train their children children will turn to another thing right in their presence you know if, they, if you give them a business today come back three years is dead there's no divinity it's just oju makolugo not like yoruba will say just open eye like this so if somebody is beefing you, you are beefing back. If somebody is not beefing you, you are beefing. You know, everything is just physical. You, you know you are empty vessel. Ve I'm sorry. I don't want to sound like that again. Let me just go back to comment. Because <laughs> you are doing everything with physical eye. You can't really figure anything out. There's no figuring. You are just looking like this. Go, 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 go. And then if you see something on another person's page, you go and copy. Some people are like duplicates. That's all they know how to do. When they see somebody implement something, they go and implement it. Yeah. It's just so if this person has divine inspiration and they don't know what's behind it. <laughs> so they don't really know how to navigate, but they know the beginning. They end up doing nothing. I told you when some people join my classroom, they will also go and create their own course. So halfway, they are done. <laughs> it's just funny how these things work. Dio Ade says, Happy Sunday, sir, to you and everyone. Good evening. Vira Funny Shot says, sir, how can I win Google Snippets with my blog? I think Google is no longer doing snippets as much as before. So I don't really go for Google snippets anymore. The, the, the Google snippets winning those days were when they were still giving real estate. Now they are moving towards AI generated. So Google snippets is not there. Kenneth says, I got banned on YouTube. How can I create a new one and get it monetized? You will use a different Gmail that you will never allow to cross over to the other one. And I can guarantee that the reason why you are banned is because you keep using another person's content. Create your own content by yourself. Don't just want to take somebody else's content and flush it through people's nose or throat. Nah, create your content by yourself. That will help you. And you won't even worry about, you know, uh, not monetizing and all these other things. Where am I? Ooh, okay. Uh, Sandy Chigi says, good evening, sir. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. McDonald I always says, good evening, Zadi. Good evening to all the gents in the house. Good evening, Mr. McDonald I says, greetings for my wife and children. As your lovely family. We're doing well. Thank you very much. Aliu Olade just says, how are you able to do many things at a time? You're all over many things. Yes, because I have 24 hours. So if I do one hour on anything, I can complete it. Because now I have speed. You know, a lot of people will struggle about things. One, my, I have clarity. And I can guarantee to you today, I know where I will be when I'm 90 years, if I get to 90. So I'm no longer in the league of people who are just trying to figure out what their life is or where they're going to stay. Just like some people now, should we travel to UK? Should we stay? What do we do when we get there? They're in UK two, three years. They're still trying to figure out what they do. Oh, let's go to US. I think we should go to Germany, you know? I'm not figuring out anything. I already know what it is. I've gone through my phase of figuring out I mean, phase of actualization, which God has helped me enough to also have money to actualize. So it's just, it's just like you have, let's say, 200 million, and you want to be the house. You, you already know, oh, this is the plan of the house. I want to be three story building. You already know what's up with it. So the only thing you are doing is every day you wake up and go to site and just build. 
it's no longer like i'm going to use sand i'm going to use gravel i'm going to nah you already know what's up with it so my speed is uh, way more than average people because i'm not trying to figure anything out again i already know funny enough i've met everybody that needs to participate one way or the other in my own assignment i've known what my assignment is in their life so my decision making per day is seamless it's what time it is now look at my face my wife will say even when you are coming 10 o'clock in the night you are looking as if you are just leaving the morning there's no single stress i already know what to do i passed through the time of stress figuring out praying lord how should we go now my clarity with god is clear i hear it plain so i don't second guess whatever god tells me like before uh, you know it's just like if i begin out with everything is more difficult but now it's not i have regular speed if i'm recording i record easily if i'm to edit i edit easily now i have staff who help out so i just give instructions you know before if i record 10 videos i'm going to be the one to edit the 10 videos now if i record if i record 10 videos i probably not even edit anything i just call everybody oh okay okay you come here okay give this to sawanda this is the ones uh isk scenario i have them arrange it on their timelines this is how i want you to do this and you know those parts i've even gone through those phases they now know how i want my videos edited they know how i want my transitions put and my elements and all so i dropped those ones and then i moved to something else but the time i was doing it alone i was working about 18 20 hours every day i've labored me i even know those days i if i remember those days i was laboring and by myself i'll be pitying myself <laughs> now i'm not doing as much work like that but i did pity myself i can't even believe i could use my body like that like i was using myself as if i wanted to die and i remember one day my wife was challenging me like i should calm down like this my i was working as if i wanted to kill myself and i remember telling her, i said yes i want to burn the bridge of poverty if i would die on this process i already die like i was ready to die to ensure poverty will no longer operate in my lineage and that was what i did that time and to god be the glory god said amen to it and everything just went off because I can't imagine. Because I tell my wife now, fuel. The last time I bought fuel, I bought 82,900 and something fuel. Inside one can, like two or three jerry cans. And the jerry cans are just for, you know, the programs in the office and all. And in my mind, I'm like, if I they buy 80 something thousand fuel, that will finish in about one week or 15 days. I'm not looking at every other person. Like, how are they surviving? Because I know people, their salary is there, might be 80,000. You can't use all your salary to buy fuel. You still have to buy food. And every time my wife goes to the stores to buy anything in the market, she comes back by saying she, she uses more money than estimated. Maybe she says, okay, I just need about 120. She goes back and uses about 150. Then I'm like, ah, uh -uh. I just did not that it different. <laughs> okay, let me speak. I, I almost forgot myself and spoke your over. Now I say, you have taken 30 extra. Say, because everything has gone up more. Not like she bought more things, but the prices had gone up. But I'm always thinking, because I still see people regular. But later, I now discover that people are really, really suffering. Like, hmm, here. Like it's massive pain. And people are just giving up and just living like that. I was asking some people, they said, it was meat. Like, meat is no longer in food. <laughs> Somebody told me, we only eat two types of things in the house vegetables and uh, beans so me i said that that's even healthy <laughs> so that's more proteinous you see people going to the gym and they are becoming leaner like they are thin because there's no food like that you're just gymming on top of what no food to replenish your energy so you're losing your energy you're becoming thin as if you have you are sick and of course you are not feeling well so i'm just looking at all the scenarios but in my head or even all those people they are looking for help uh -uh, not even help they are seeking for pity instead of going out i don't even know i'm even getting more confused because i'm like when i didn't have money and i know that something can give me money that all out for it all out but i think some of us are maybe maybe we are not from the generation of people that are supposed to have money and i'm sorry to say this because i think i preached about it last two weeks because i was just talking and then i said some people are from generations that are not blessed to have money so no matter what energy you are putting you might probably not have it because there's a divine cause on that generation unless you get out of that that's how you can break because i can't figure out why you'll be broke and poor 
and they told you blogging can make you money and you are still here asking me stupid questions so you can't go and just go and find the way around it yourself go to the mountain that nonsense god come and bless me don't ask for blessing again lord come and teach me blogging how do i go about blogging three days open my brain open my head open my eye so the right video will come your path i'm telling you you will just go and be doing balabulu looking for how to make one thousand dollars you know those are thumbnails open my eye open my brain let me know this thing help me that's the regular thing you don't have to pray to your car unnecessarily when you know you have money to buy petrol and if there's no petrol you're, but you know when they give you all these kind of funny funny testimonies that there's a man that cooks for two years without filling his gas <laughs> i'm not saying it's a lie oh because god does only measurable things but how many people with that punto the man gave a testimony that he didn't have money he's a man of god and he was cooking and he was now hoping and praying that hey god cannot just do it that this gas will not finish so a gas that is supposed to finish one month he used it for like nine months that the day they went and opened it that why is this gas still working that that was the day the thing stopped but since you have been living how many people have you seen gone through that process so you can't keep living life on testimonies and miracles and all stuff that happen to few people when you can actually live life on a farm that happens to everybody there is one that happens to everybody that's the hard work hard work is for everybody everybody gets the same results when you're hard working but some people say eh, but we have people hard working on the street who don't have money yeah eh, oh yeah now have you done your own at least hard work your own first let's see if you have results or not before you start comparing the one on the street that you know nothing about hey, but some people are digging well digging well digging well who told you that everybody Go and look at the dressing companies, the ones that have uh, ball companies. Go and see their CEO. You know that you can dig well and become very wealthy. Ask their CEO. Now that I'm doing podcasts, I, have, I hear some incredible, you know, stuffs. I thought mine was like the baddest kind of story from becoming a driver. I drove somebody who I was a driver. I was regular driver. He was an actress. He's popular. Nigerian actress so that does movies. He and I'm telling you, like, one, one year difference. You call me, he calls me, oh, God bless you. I won't come out to uh, 9.30, please come out. If I'm late, because me, I don't know why I'm always late. <laughs> if I'm late, you, she would have been saying, oh, God bless you, I know one, uh, in Yoruba, I don't like all this, so that she will power for me. I was saying, I'm sorry, ma, I'm sorry, ma. Those days I was a driver. In the same Abuja, oh, fast forward to when God answered me and everything comes to you. She had problems sometimes. I was the one that went and prayed for her. Daddy, daddy, can you imagine the shift in about one and a half years? Somebody who shouts on you for not coming to carry on time, calling you daddy and kneeling down when I get there. Like insane transformation. You know, she should just be looking at my eyes. My wife would say, why is she looking at each other? I said, I understand. She's looking at me like, how does life of people change in one and a half years to this level? She can't explain it. And <laughs> yeah, I'm... Me, I'm smiling. Even now, I'm smiling because I'm the same person who was the driver who you would tell to stop and shout for, and all of a sudden you're kneeling down for me to. Pray. And it's not because of anything. God's intervention. But the hard work you can't take away because that's my own. You can lay. You know, if you lay claims to miracles, you can expect miracles for the next five years, and nothing happens. But if you work hard for the next five years, something must happen. I'm telling you, you can wait for miracle and nothing happens because miracle is not in the hand of your pastor who is assuring you. It's not in the hands of anyone. It's just God's mercy. And God's miracle, no one can determine. The only assurance anybody has is if you live a holy life and you, are, you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you'll be rapturable. That is guaranteed. But that you have long life or you have good death, or you, all those ones are not guaranteed is god's grace guaranteed you'll get to heaven if you accept jesus christ guaranteed but any other thing you know they so the only guaranteed thing that is next to that is your hard work when you are convinced about whatever you should be doing or you have inner conviction about it go for it and the idea let's put it that way go for it and never relent until you get your results if all you are, you know, I have people when I do a tutorial, they will come and say something like, uh, who has made money from this strategy? <laughs> I'm like, Jesus. Yes, so me, there'll be a strategy that can make money. I'll wait for somebody to first tell me they have before I do my own. No, I do it. 
What am I doing with my time? And you know all the football team in Arsenal and everybody. You know it. Only you get like seven friends that are chatting every day, smiling like goat to your phone on WhatsApp and Snapchat every day. You know some of you spend much time talking to friends. You are building stupid relationship with people. <laughs> you say you are building relationship with all these your tiny tiny girls and stuff. That that one relationship. Which what relationships does that count for? Hoping that when they become the wife of governor, they'll give you a contract. Because I don't even understand. You are wasting away like your youth. And right in your presence, you know what happens when you grow old. This conversation we're having now, if you fast forward 20 years to our ages, you know we can't talk like this again. Because we are now grandfathers. That's if you even get married in the first place. If you not want to baby father or baby mama. Because you are not really doing anything about life. I'm just saying. I'm just saying because it, it's always like that. You don't have to be pushed. You don't have to be begged. It's your life. One. You only have one. And funny enough, you really want to enjoy it if you can break through. Go for the hard way. Go for the hard work way. Focus on one. If you are choosing YouTube, I can guarantee to you. Start doing external interview. Just go out as I'm talking to you tomorrow. Meet five people. Say every day I want to meet five people. And I'll ask them one more question each with my phone. Whether the voice is clear, whether it's clear or it's not clear, whatever, I will just try and upload it. Get three view. Post it on your Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Three view. Do it for the next one year. Then come and tell me what the result is. Every single day. Five people times 30 is 150 people times one year. It's about 2,000 something videos. You cannot have 2,000 something videos on your phone, on your channel, without being monetized. Even if Nain get, they go come subscribe. When God sees that you are at work in this thing, guess what happened? All these uh, influencers one day, maybe you interview somebody that is funny or something happened around the topic you chose, and then boom, if you just go to 100,000 views, you are monetized. You just wake up one day and see $1,000. And then you multiply, maybe it's 1,200 at that time. And then you collect 1.2 million. And then your life changes forever simply by making the decision to go all out for it. And at this point, you're only talking to people on the street. It's not like you are doing anything as simple as that. And if you know how to cook something that you cook every day in the house, just record it and talk. Like, don't make it look like it's monetization. I'm not getting views. Leave views. All my channels, I know they worry about views, including this one. Look, I know some channel creators that will tell you it's all about views. No. This process is supposed to be enjoyed. Do I look like I'm not enjoying this? Is it, you think this is about view? Do I care about what, who watches or what? Even one person. I have a channel I do in Yoruba. Me, I don't even know how they produce Yoruba channels because it's not English. You can't do keyword research for Yoruba. <laughs> I can't do keyword research for Yoruba. But I just know that I'm preaching, I'm talking, I'm doing everything in English. How about people in Oshun State? All this rugby G, Ipetumodu, all this my grand grand people in my hometown. I cannot understand English. They are not, they are not fully learned. Does it mean what I'm saying cannot benefit them? Does it mean they are not supposed to go to heaven? You know? And right there, I just felt like, okay, let's go. I created Yoruba. Uh, I created Blessing Kolawole Yoruba. That was what I called it. And every video I have, they will translate it to Yoruba. Just like this Jagun Jagun that they translated from Yoruba to English on Netflix. I did it. I've been doing it. And then sometimes I deliberately create products, uh, create uh, uh, preachings and something that I'm speaking in Yoruba directly like that. And then most of the time I did, I did those ones myself because mo there's no Yoruba editor. I have them in, all of them are, one is Igbo, one is Benue, one is Kogi, three of them. So none of them is Yoruba, so they can't understand the language. So I do that myself. Guaranteed. I'm not doing it because I want views or monetization. So you have to get to a level, especially YouTube, where you know that what you're creating is for your own interest. Like, it's like a living legacies. That's how I, I'm creating my books now. I'm not writing my... You know, when I first joined on uh, K, KDP, I had 1,038 books. All of them. But not the way I never write, though. I was telling one of our one-on-one -on -one, uh, students, like, four days ago. I wrote about witchcraft. I wrote a book about witchcraft. There's Buddhism. Anything topic. In, uh, I've written 1,038 books on KDP. So that's to tell you that not the way I never write from my head. You know, psychology book, accounting book, physical education, talk of anything, self-help, cookbooks, recipes, everything, everything. By even uh, scientific books. Uh, all the, I wrote coronavirus before coronavirus started, you know. I've written a lot of things. 
But now, I'm not doing all those jabajantis again. Just because then, I was writing because of money. Now, I'm writing because of legacy. So when I grow old, if I can write 500 books that carries my name, that is mine. And it's not just a random psychology because I'm researching. This is the best keyword to write on. That is what I'm talking about. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. So you should try and get to YouTube for something you can enjoy. Anything. Anything. Even if it's you to hop, you know this 10 that we do when we're younger. 10 you throw the something. You can create game channels. I know my wife should be able to do this easily because she has all these uh, games that you sometimes use cardboard to do, sometimes you use all these red cups, you know, different games. Some people go and check it, they have millions of views. And when you enjoy it, you can create more, and then from there, you can monetize. And then it makes your life easier when you are doing something you enjoy. Can you imagine doing something you enjoy? And they are now paying you. Look at all those artists. They'll be singing. Sing, you know, and they'll monetize it. I write in your presence because I, I have contracts for people who are going to be singing here and there. You know, we're going to have a lot of people who are singers. Because that's what we have is full blown studio that can do video and audio. And that's why I told you all the saxophone, blah, 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 everything is there. So you can create live music and stream it live. And I'm going to do all of that. But all of a sudden, I'm going to make money from music because all of these, my hymns and all the songs, covers and everything we want to do, we're going to put them on the SoundCloud, put them on Apple Music, put them on... And then all of a sudden, I'll come back and tell you, ooh, now every month, I make $1,000 from streaming. You'll be saying, why did I say? And then before you know it, I'm composing songs because I write scripts for songs. Uh, songs. I write them on Fiverr those days, so I have a lot of bunch, even on this phone. Because when I have inspiration, I type and all. And then I'll just give all uh, people that, just like Don Jazzy does. And for your information, I've gone through everything Don Jazzy ever said in this world. <laughs> just because I know he's the owner of Mavens and he has built a team and all, I wanted to see how he did that so I can create that as a record label, which I'm also doing now. For like almost two months, I've been studying Don, Jaz Don Jazzy and everything he does. The moves, how he signs his contract, how he pushes his suit, the schools he does two years before they come out, the trainings. I'm implementing everything. But I'm doing Christian own, I'm doing uh, gospel and all. And it's, it is what it is. And then later, you now say, Pastor B is also making money singing. Even, I'm not going to be singing like that. Too. I don't have voice for singing. <laughs> but I'm sure there will be the mogul behind the scene to create everything. But I will start making money for music. My boys and girls and everybody that has interest in singing, they will also make money. Because we make them go viral and all of these other juicy things that happens with popularity, with songs. But I can guarantee to you, every of these things come back to a lot of work, which is content creation. If you know how to sing, what are you doing? You are still creating content. Abby, don't be content. It's content. So, it's YouTube. Heavily. Please, just look into that. Heavy, heavy, heavy. It, it works and... Uh, that will make it work. Okay, where are we? Uh, Aliyu, a lot of just says, okay, I think I read that already. Abu Bakr Mohammed says, good evening, my mentor. Thank you very much for the eye opener on the keyword research and your honest review on my articles. Now I understand better and I'm acting on your advice. Thank you very much. At least we have somebody who says I did something because I was wondering why is it that people just say what I've not done and all the work of a week, plenty hundreds of people that I've attended to. Nobody's telling me I've done them. <laughs> Ade Kulu Samuel says, Good evening, sir. Good evening. Ali Ola Dej just says, I attempted to do like three things, but it's way overwhelming. It's the capacity of the heart, basically. I've been used to this. For example, okay, let me start from NYC. When I was in NYC, I was playing football for the team. I was the uh, money speaker in the radio station. I do the money motivations. That's there. I was the coach of the Miss Platoon. I was the coach of the volleyball, female volleyball. I was the coach of the food, something, what do you call them? I was a monitoring team for the food. I was a ESCO for the platoon. Like I had like seven, eight things I was doing. It was just three weeks in, in Campo. And that's to tell you, like, I'm used to this chaos and rigors. I don't enjoy it when I don't have anything to do that is bothering me. I want to use my brain every time. I must be stressed mentally. And it's not 
stress of I don't get food to chop or somebody want to kill me here. Mm -mm. That's not the stress for me. It's constructive stress, objective stress. I love it. I love those challenges. I love those thinking. I don't bet, as in betting, all this betting, I don't really encourage anybody to do it. But I remember when in 2016, I deliberately wanted to bet simply because I just wanted to think about it. Like, which team can do it? Why would this person be this? You know, that thinking thing. And, uh, okay, I think I started 2015. And through the process of, I did it for like one year, 2015 to 2016, all through those two, boys will come to my office in Ekiti, that's 2015, to call, for me to give them uh, uh, games. I was very good at it. I was balling, like, even, I, I know if I go back into betting, I will just be doing, chopping money. <laughs> and the reason for that is I could think, my brain could work like clock, all of these beautiful things. But betting is bad, 100%. Some people say, hey, where did they write it in the Bible? Well, I don't care. You know, not everything that is a sin it will be written as a sin. But anything that doesn't give you great future, and whatever you can do in the long term, is probably not good. To me, I don't like betting. I don't advise anyone to go into betting because at the end of the day, you, you're going to be having hopes. Oh, I go chop today. I go chop tomorrow. They'll tell you somebody won 12 million. I go, oh. It's not something, it's gambling. So forget it as far as I am concerned. So it's the capacity of the heart. Your ability to go overboard is just full blown. And that's how, that's how I am. And that's how I've been developed. And I can work on multiple things at the same time without uh, quivering. in. The more pressure, the better. And because when you achieve the three things you say is overwhelming, your results will be way more than... You can tell I'm a YouTuber now, and I have greater results than people who have been in front of me. Simply because I have like seven things going on in one. It's more stressful, but the results too will be stressful. It will stress your pocket. <laughs> so just imagine if you make $1,000 on YouTube because you are doing it, and then you have three monetized channels that does about $2,000, and then you have a Kindle publishing that will give you extra $1,000, that's four, and then you have your blogs, maybe you have three or four blogs, that each one gives you about 500, 800, 1,000, you know, maybe you get under 3,000, that's $7,000. Let's now say maybe you have affiliate marketing that does about $100, uh, 500, that's $7,500. For somebody who only has YouTube, you'll probably make 2,000, 3,000, even if you concentrate on it. For you, you are doing 7,000 something because you have multiples. Let's now say YouTube just go bala blue, bala blue, and then they stop his account. <laughs> that's it. You know, they blocked my Kindle at some point, they blocked my Fiverr at some point. If I wasn't having numerous things, hey, the end never come. That's why I have plenty of things. Olushola Betiku says, Happy Sunday, Zadi B, and all the giants. Good evening. Moses Chigose says, Good evening and happy Sunday to you all. Otu Shegun says, Greetings to you, sir. Good evening. Blessing Creative Stars says, Good evening, Pastor B. Good evening. Adekolu Sam says, I'm interested in your class, but I'm still financially not buoyant. Please, sir, how can you help me? I can't really help because the class is free. What you pay for is your website. So, and I can't just buy websites for you. That's, that's what it takes to start the journey, and you have to do that. Olusha Labetiku says, Happy Sunday to you, Zadi B, and all the giants in the house. It's good to see you this evening. Thank you so much for your effort, the Betikus. Thank you very much. And then we have Moses Chico. He says, Please, can someone make money on cleaning malware for clients? Yes, you can for those that uh, have malware. So, if you have where to find them, maybe on Fiverr or something, yes, you can. Mr. Mike says, good evening, Pastor B. Can you do a video on Google Analytics for finding it challenging to navigate on like Google Console? Why are you actually looking at Google Analytics? I, I can't remember checking my analytics. I don't concentrate on all of that. Whatever you put is what they are saying. So what's my point? I just go straight to making money. I really don't check it like that. But I have the courses on uh, the masterclass, but I don't really check it. Eoshe Oshehi Monlen says, Good evening, Pastor B. Good evening. Adele Kiruka says, Good evening, sir. Happy Sunday to you and your family. Thank you very much. Smart Online Marketing says, Good evening, sir. Good evening. Abubakar Mohammed says, I believe you, my mentor. There is work to be done. Patience and perseverance. Thank you for always telling us the truth, even when it lies, when it's lies that is easily taken these days. 
Yes, I love it because I know everybody will realize the truth. It's like a girl who feels like following rich men is the best option and is balling. You know why you're following rich men? <laughs> like one Alaji said today, I saw it on someone's uh, DP. He said, you met somebody three days ago and the man has already given you a 900,000 iPhone. And you're happy. You have caught a big fish. He said, they have just paid for your soul. Like maybe it's one million, maybe hundred thousand before they kill you. <laughs> you know, the man was just vibing and I was just smiling. I said, but most girls will not want to listen to that. They meet you today, three days time, you carry iPhone 13 Pro Max, be there or 14 or 15. They're like, yeah, everybody's saying, oh, he's a nice man. He's a, you know, they're not reasoning about what it takes from your pocket. I was about to just give you something one million in three days. You say it's God blessing. How God they bless like that? It's not like you are working for the person or there's a business to be done. Just dash you because you want to sleep with him. So it's, there's more to it. But that's what he says. Even when you tell them, that was what the Alaji was saying. No. He said, even if you tell the mother that this thing is by, we say, you stop jealous. Stop being jealous of my daughter, you know? Because everything is money, 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 money nowadays. But I like to say the truth so that when you go, you will remember there is a particular man that's always saying the truth. And then you circle back. That's happened loads and loads of time. Mindful acts says, good evening, sir. Please. How much can I charge for creating an ebook on Amazon Kindle? I, I usually charge $120 for 30,000 words. That's me. David Cloud says, Good evening, sir. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Benefit Badome says, Happy Sunday, Pastor B, and all the giants in the building. Digital Expert TV says, Why are my videos not getting views? Because they're not what people want to watch. There's only two ways you get views on YouTube. And I'm saying only two ways. Either you build a community around yourself or if you don't be the community around yourself, you jump on viral videos or what people want to watch. And when I say viral videos, it might be viral videos or viral categories. For example, nowadays, I'm going to do that. I'm prepping that already. Uh, there's this thing people do about busting balloons, people choosing themselves in marriages. You, a guy will come in, there will be like 15 girls. And then if you are feeling the guy, you pick, you know, all those things. I'm going to do that 100%. I want to do that. I'm trying to see if my microphone is still working. You see the green light here. Uh, that's I'm, I keep dragging my clothes. So it won't go off and there won't be audio, you know. So that particular scenario, that particular niche has views. And I have the space, I have the microphones, I have everything. So I have the cameras, so I'm going to do that. And that's why I said you can either do a viral video or viral category. That's what gets views. But if I'm producing what you think, you won't be worried about views. You'll just be worried about your consistency and attracting the right audience. Then you build the community around it. That's like the best way to do it. And then you have to be good. You know, that's another thing. You have to be very good at what you produce. Most people don't want to watch somebody who is not good or who doesn't have the vibe they need. You can tell I polished my everything just to look the park. You have to be able to deliver. It's like a footballer who doesn't know how to play football and says, people, uh, the coach doesn't like me. You can't be very good and coach will not like you unless you're injured or if he has another alternative or the style of play he wants. So understand that it's a market whereby people are drawn to three things, basically. Either they want to learn, educational, which means you have to teach what they don't know, or they are being drawn to entertainment, which means you have to make their day better than it was, or uh, uh, what they call influencing. You have massive influence on them. So people are pastors, motivational speakers, celebrities, all these guys are like, massive influences people just want to know what goes in their life you don't need to really know whiskey this before people follow him they just want to see him smile or see him send something you know that's influence level but me i'm educating you might don't know me you might not love me but you want to watch how to open pioneer for example so you watch it and go you might not love me you might not want me you just want to learn how to make money from google adsense you learn that and go in between like, I have a lot of people who follow me genuinely, not because of what I teach. They just like my perspective to life, the way I go about my things and all. And that's just what they want uh, and they also enjoy. So I'm like double portion. You know, you came here for one, now you have two. <laughs> and sometimes you have three, four, depending on, based on the prayer part of my life and my ability to go through the deepest time and bring something out of it. I just love that. I just want to be a complete married man, prayer warrior that is solid on the Lord's side not committing useless sin and wasting my life and making money online. I say, oh, Pastor B has everything. And then, boom, he's my mentor. It happens that way as well. So it, it depends on what you want to, you know, coin out. But if it's just, 
I just want to put this YouTube faceless YouTube channel. Uh, nah, 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 nah. You won't do it for long. And that's what people teach. All this fast money, quick money. Just capture some images and put it on one motivation something and use AI to do. Mm. I'm telling you, if it was working that way, they won't come to you too to teach you. They'll be doing it. So some of them say they are doing that is not very and I'm going to do that thing on Monday or Tuesday. There is a trick on YouTube that if I make 700, like I told you, I've made $740. That's $740. That's a way I can change it on YouTube, legit. And if you turn to maybe like $800 and like $84,000. And I'll show you in that video. I've not made a video like that. And I'll refresh you. You see, it, that my $740 would be $80 something thousand dollars. So what those guys do is they will do this trick. Like I'm going to show you. I won't tell you now. So you see it on Monday or Tuesday if I make the video. They will do that trick and then they will they can refresh their page, they can do anything. You see it. The money will be there. The YouTube will write it there. <laughs> and it's just a trick. It's a lie. That's not how much they will collect. They will still collect that 740, but it will change it to eight hundred and something thousand dollars. So they tell you how to make blah 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 on a YouTube channel that is first. Meanwhile, the old channel might have made fourteen dollars. But when they do that trick to it, it goes to, is this thing still there? Okay. It goes to like maybe $24,000 in a month. So they are telling you they made $24,000 in a month. It's a lie. They've just applied that trick. Then they will show you those in their tutorials. In the, so you, you can pay for their course. You are, they are making money from you. Not from whatever they tell you. It's just lies. And that's what YouTube had, uh, you know, turned to. All those Jaguajantis uh, lies just to make you drop your money. You know? It's so sad. All right. Where are we? I am on here. Adele K. Rukaya says, Good evening, sir. Happy Sunday to you and your family. Uh, Eoshe Oshimole says, Good evening, Pastor B. Smart Online Marketing says, Good evening, sir. Good evening. David Crowley says, Good evening, sir. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Benefit Badom. Says, Happy Sunday, Pastor B. And all the giants in the building. Uh, in line, for Say, Good evening, sir. Happy Sunday. Marcus J. Says, Please, sir. I bought grammar on your side. And it shows the plagiarism part. But after showing through the plagiarism and solved it, I paste the text on duplicate checker. And it says there's still plagiarism. I can't tell about that. It's a different plagiarism. Uh, platforms speak different things but grammarly is what i've been using all my life and uh, i have eight monetized blogs that are making money so i don't second guess it it's the only thing i use i don't know about the other ones you are copying and pasting i don't know i just use grammarly you know these are tools now so they pick different different things per time but the one i use generally is grammarly and that's it so you are asking if you can continue yes that's what i use that's the only thing i know and uh, if I have spent seven years on something without any problem, I think I'm right to say yes, continue. Universal Truth says, thanks, African Giant. I really need your help about how to change video background for free. Because I need to have good background for my YouTube videos. You use green screen. This green, like this green I'm wearing, not this, it's sort of deeper. That's the one you put on your background when you are recording. So it's easy to remove the screen from uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. That's the, I've tried it before it worked, but, you know, I just didn't want the stress. Because if you can produce and edit faster, what was the point? So I stopped using it. I used about three, four videos then. And it's easy to even remove the green screen behind. The only problem I had was sometimes it would, especially if I forget wearing something that would also get removed like green. Because if you are removing the green on your background, if I remove the green you are wearing, if you are wearing green. So you wear contrasting, you know, uh, clothes just to avoid that. So that's the best way. Uh, your word says, good evening, the boss and the giants. Shedrach Onugu says, I'm just coming in. Not bad. We're still up. We'll still be up for about 20 more minutes before I call it a day. Prince P says, good evening, my VC. Good evening. Joshua Yomide says, good evening, sir. And how is everything? So I respect you a lot. Please, sir, the YouTube course is not still working since about six months now. It's a class. That's the thing. 
most people don't you know this this particular format i'm using is what what most people are used to they want just to join a class once and have everything that wants that's not how i run it when you come in you study i want you to go and implement these you ask me questions that's why i'm always there then we move again to the next one if you are not implementing you just study everything once it's just like somebody going to gs1 and they teach you gs1 to ss3 in about two or three months there's no way you can cope you would think you can cope because you you think you can know everything once but no it's not like that because each thing we teach is powerful for example in this same youtube master class you were talking about i remember when i thought about the our voicing and uh, uh, body language look i'm not joking here i learned body I'm sure you can hear me now. I'm switching places. I'm back. That microphone went off, so I switched to this one. Mine. <laughs> Let me just hold it this way. So, like I was saying, uh -huh, I hold it this way so I can uh, always see it. I knew that one would go up. I've used it uh, before. Yes, I'll repeat what I said. I've used it before. Normally, most people don't know that. Uh, for example, if you are watching me now and I can still, you will just discover, I don't even know why I like this man. You can't tell. You understand what I'm saying? You can't tell why you like the man. But I know why, to the larger percentage, I know why you like me. <laughs> because these things are like subtle things, but most people don't understand it. And like I taught in the masterclass, YouTube masterclass, for example, there is what we call pitch in everybody's voice. Every time you listen to a music, you can hear it over and over and over because it is sweet. And do re mi fa so la ti do do ti la so fa mi re do. You see mm -hmm, that pitch difference. The voice has broken, sir. Okay, you people, it's like your network is not showing you live, live, live. Maybe I was like three, two seconds behind. Some people are just telling me no voice, no voice. Something that we have rectified. <laughs> so it's like maybe the lag of YouTube is coming back, okay? So at the end of the day, you realize that that difference... <coughs> excuse me. Okay, you already deleted the no voice. I think he, he now heard that it's back. Okay. Because sometimes the network, you know, if your network goes away and you refresh, you won't join the live, live, live. It will just a little bit go back. Digital Expert says, okay, yeah, now you're back, okay. Now, the voice is working well. Bam, Cine Manuel. Yes, I understand. Now, the thing is, when, when you have a flat voice, nobody enjoys you when you talk. Just for example, if this is where I talk throughout today and I tell you, everything will work fine you know liberation tv is still a little behind you see the way i'm talking is just flat oh yeah thank you david Koraole. he's saying how much is that microphone you know last week the one i bought this is the second one L let me show you this is the where is the head carton you know i was in the office last week when i said it the first one i bought those days was twenty eight thousand. it was the same thing it's for iphone I don't know if you can see it now. Wireless microphone. This place is not light, light, light like that. The first one I bought was uh, 20,000. And about Tuesday next to that Sunday, it broke. The, the cursor broke. So, but then that day, I was told that somebody told me they bought their own 18,000. So I went back to buy another one since the, my phone fell with the knot. So it broke the edge of it. So I went and bought another one. So this one I'm using today is a new one. 
and I bought it for 15,000. Can you imagine? When I got there, they told me, I said, how much is it? They said 18. So I said, which 18 that is, they should reduce. So the lady said, uh, okay, because they are a customer. Because I've always been buying, even the 28th one, I bought it there. Then I said 15. So I paid for it. This, this I bought 15,000. It's iPhone, uh, whatever. So, and it's very powerful. I like it. The production is very cool. So that pitch alone gives you that extra advantage. But when you talk flat, if your voice is flat, you say, I want to do YouTube. Me too, I want to do YouTube. I want to, I want to and your voice is flat. It won't be enjoyable. But when you sleep and you hear as if somebody's voice is playing back in your head, apparently, that is the beauty of it. Oh, David Crowley says the audio is nice. Yes, that's the beauty of it. Because if you don't get yourself to train your voice that way, look, let me even tell you, even if you are looking for a wife, they won't take you serious. Because there's a way you sound, it, it's not sweet. Your voice needs to be enjoyable. And you can see the way I'm talking, this had to be learned. It's not something you just join a course two weeks, you say I finished. You have not finished. Go and learn and implement. That's the whole essence of a class. It's not for you to just run through it and say I don't finish. And then you come back to me and say, yeah, but I never get more views. Yes, you have not implemented. So I set the classroom up to delay you by force or by choice so you can implement. But you see Nigerians, all the blue blue, I just want to make money. Nobody's really planning. And if you still call them, they will still sound the same flat way. Instead of making your voice sweet as if you are playing on a piano, piano, you could say, for example, if I'm to read something now, let me try and see if I can read something. And I, aha, okay. There's something here. I just want to read it. This thing says, patented products counterfeiting must be punished. You see the way I read it? I could have said, patented products counterfeiting must be punished. Patented product counterfeiting must be punished. Like you deliberately put beauty in your voice and it's just like you are dropping it, you are increasing it, and you are dropping it again. You see that? That makes a lot of difference. It looks as if you are singing when you are speaking. And then your voice becomes sweeter. You won't know, but people will just jump into your videos. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's program. I just want to tell you a few things that will make the difference when you hop on. On, and that's just one thing, pitch, pitch. We still have volume. When you don't know when to raise your volume and when to drop your volume, another problem with your voice. <laughs> you see all those orators. They say they are orators. If anything they tell you, when I was in the university, if they see somebody stubborn, they just go and tell blessing or tell PRO those days, depending on whatever they want to call me. The person will listen. Because when I'm talking to you, it's sweet. Every lady I had ever known till today, they love to gist with me. Because my voice is sweet. If you are gisting with me, you can gist with me for three hours. And it's not like we are talking Jagwajantis or we are smoking or we are, you know, <laughs> Gen Z word is about bad habits. This one is good habits. And everything is just there. You need to learn everything. How about the body language I mentioned? Some people don't know how to carry their body. They don't, you, you don't even have a body to carry because you are not exercising your body. So there is no fitness in your body. You, you are not a man. You are a man by nature. You are not a man based on the hard work involved. You know what I mean? Build your chest. Build your arms. Let your back be built. You are a man. You are not uh, a cattle. <laughs> because no exercises. So when you are walking... You're practically walking like a lady. Your hips are swinging like, as if you have hips. <laughs> and you're a man. It's your chest as you swing as a man, not your hips. So when you sit down on your YouTube and people look at your face, they are not convinced. If you like, do one million video, nobody will listen because they are not convinced. You think people just don't like you in reality. And then, not that they don't like you because you might say, hey, why, why are people liking me in reality? Low budget people. You know what they call low budget? You might, you know now, in your church, the high-class girls, do you mingle with them? Are they mingling with you? Can they be proud when they see you near their dad to say, that's my friend? Can they come close to you when they are near their boyfriend? You know, this is it. If you are walking on the street and the girl has a boyfriend or a fiancé, a big fiancé, whatever they call them, I'm not in that market, so I don't know the terminologies, and you are walking by and say, hello, 
And he says, hello, I see my friend, I see my friend. Uh -huh. That's when you know you caught it. But when they see you and you just say, hi. Or you quickly only boyfriend say, hey, this one, no greet me, no scatter my relationship. <laughs> you are not there. Some people call it aura. They call it swag. You don't have it. And then you think camera will not pick that you don't have aura and swag. You think so. It's not about being nice or being rude. It's not all those ones that you are not talking to them. You, when you see human being, you raise up your nose like a uh, chimpanzee. No, that's not it. It's the, the whole everything is in your swag, your breath, your talkability, everything. Your accent, that's tonacity. Everything. Those are things I'm teaching in the master classes. So part of it is a module about audio. When we spoke about audio, that's how I taught everything about all of this. Unfortunately, I'm not with my laptop. I would have read everything in that particular module. We have about 53 modules, and there was, that's one of the modules. It's about audio. Audio involves voice, the uh, equipment you have to use. If you don't have money to buy all those big equipment, all this audacity you can use online, how to edit it. You know, those are things like, and just one module. Like, in my mind, I'm like, that module alone is okay for the 10,000 you are even paying on YouTube Masterclass. And I told you, what I teach is not what you get anywhere, especially in my classes. Because I know that's what works. You will just notice that even your comments will change. What people are typing in your comments will be different. Just by learning those basics. But if you just think it's about how to see 100 million views, how to see 100,000 views, you know, go get any view. Back way. Sometimes you'll be looking for view with no loss. View no loss now. Mm -hmm. Let's continue. Laugh. Oh, sh I think I've read that one. To even call that name was that. <laughs> So let me just run away from it. Yeah. Uh, Raphael Adedoyin says, Good evening, African Giant. Please, how big and spacious is your office? And you have not done the office tour video you promised. Yes, I'll do it. I did it all. The place is a, a four bedroom, two sitting room, one, two, three, four, five bathrooms. It's in a compound. Four bedroom, two sitting room. Five bathrooms. That's the office. I hope that answers it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope that was what you asked for. You said how spacious is this? So what I just did was the main, uh, the main sitting room is where I use as the main recording live studios where you have all the instruments, which is if you want to like me, my hymns I'll sing. That's why they produce all the music, like musical videos, and we set it up that cameras are there. So you can record live. I'm sure you have seen people singing on YouTube where you see complete studio where they are beating the drums right like that. Yeah, that's the whole settings of what we did. And then we have uh, the staff area because where it's supposed to be like dining is where we use that staff area. So it's long. So we just did like, uh, what do you call this place? I'm sure you have seen that on my YouTube because I was there, I did a walk by in one of my videos. I walked in from that area and I walked into a podcast. So that walking is where the staffs are seated. We did like library. So each person has their own cubicle where they're working. And then we have the podcast. Then I have this YouTube studio, one of the rooms. Then the other one is, the, I have a photography where we do snapshots. Like as if you, you can do pre-wedding, pre-birthday, pre-whatever kids in, inside there. And then my main office is on the other side. And then we have a conference room where we all do uh, training. I teach all my staff like, when we first started, we were doing it every day. But now I've reduced it, maybe once on Mondays. And then we do practice singing, all these things just for, and drama, comedy, you know. I'm just infusing everything, like, all in all. That's it. The cameramen are there. A lot of work, yeah. We shall they do everything they go. When the money comes now, all of you will see it. You know now I'm working now, nobody's saying anything. When the money comes, we will all see. The place is quite big. And we have not even started. Oh, then outside, that's where I gym. I gym in the office as well. We do it uh, in the evening. I start my gym 7.30. Because if I work throughout the day, I was doing the gym in the morning. It was affecting me because when I gym and stop by 9.30, I ride my bicycle back to my house. And then I get tired. So before I come back, I rest. Then I come back by 12 something. And then I have to now go back home by 11 sometimes when I'm very tired, you know. So I moved my exercises. And because of the early morning programs, we're going to start early morning prayers like, 6.30 to 7.30 every day, prayers in the morning to start your day. I'm going to start that on Pastor Blessing Kolawale YouTube channel. That's how we started. So that particular one, I said, okay, let's move our exercises to evenings. 
So exercise is 7.30 now to 8.30, one hour every day. And that's what we do. So I moved it off. Some of you are coming in late. Somebody is still mentioning the mic off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's how the whole thing rolls. So outside, we have another version outside. I bought all the gym equipment, the dumbbells, the uh, bars, whatever. I can't remember all their names. So, and then you see me exercising, sweating, like tummy press, you know. <laughs> and I enjoy it. And I also record it. Like I said, uh, Giant Fitness. That's why I'll be posting all those videos. I have a lot of them now that I've recorded. But, you know, because of copyright of all this music. So what I'm doing is, that's why I've not even posted a lot on that Giant uh, Fitness. I want uh, our music. We are recording all covers of musics. I've told all my choirs and everything. All of that you record. So if we want to sing, let's say, Jar, you are, oh, maybe that's the name. I will be content or every nobody. If you use their song, YouTube will copyright you. So now we play our own music. We'll sing it ourselves. And that's what we'll be using for every of our maybe motivations or movies. You know, sometimes you are doing movie, you need even if it's two pack song. I will carry that two pack song and we will sing it. <laughs> we are creating our content. It's it's alarming the level we're going to come into this market with. So even our exercises and gyms will create our own music. That's the first thing. That's why we are not starting that live program. This Pastor Blessing Color Holy Channel I'm talking about, where we do our Holy Ghost Hour. It's called Holy Ghost Hour. The program is Holy Ghost Hour. Every one hour, every day. Holy Ghost Hour every morning, 6.30, 7.30 to 7.30 every morning. But before we get into that, I want us to have prepared all our music and everything so we don't have to use another person's music. Because it's, it's legit for you to sing covers. You can sing cover of any music. Iba o, Iba, Iba o, Iba. Blessed are thou, King of glory. Then you sing your own. My own voice is not that uh, good. Don't worry. I know music, but I usually don't like singing. I don't know why I'm that terrible, but I just don't like singing. And I still sing anyway. Okay, Milawa says, good evening and happy Sunday, boss. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Benedict Bucci says, my office work is really distracting me in my online beginners class. In a few months, I'll be a year old in the class. I hope to speed up during my annual leave. That's wonderful. Baby steps are good. It doesn't have to be fast, like I always say. But it's better than doing nothing. Marcos J says, do you still offer services on Fiverr? Yes, I still do. But I don't like it, like only for my returning customers. A new customer, if you message me, I'll just say, please get, get it to another one. Because I don't like the fact that I have to deliver at the time. My time is my own now, not anybody's own. So that's why I don't like that. Rems of Koinonia says, so I remember to work on my articles I sent through WhatsApp. You promised to do it today. I worked on it yesterday. I just would, because I already said I was going to send it today, but it rained. So I couldn't. I didn't go to the office to work at all. Uh, Ali Olade just says, let me join your team, sir. I'm vast with Yoruba. Worked in radio station before. Where do you live? Ali Olade jo. Because it's translator that I actually need for the Yoruba channel. So all my English versions of anything, even including make money online, anything, you'll be staying it, you'll be teaching it in Yoruba. So you'll be showing whatever I'm showing, but you use your voice as my voice in Yoruba. So let me know where you are. It's translation. That's basically what it will be. Base and Ground says, glass to be here again. Time for the Sunday tonic. I must make money online or with African Giant. Nago day. Yes, yes, yo. Insight of says, thank you, sir. You just encouraged me. Thank God. Insight of says, hello, sir. And Hussein Malik says, can you tell me how to create YouTube channel? Just type African Giant's YouTube channel. You see that particular topic? And you follow through because it's an online something you see the way i thought it there uh clean concept panacrea i hope i called that correctly it says your website please well done for the good job which of the websites giantsclassroom.com giants with an s like plural giantsclassroom.com that's the class uh imoyo rubani patewetebo tv <laughs> that's your voices please can i have your whatsapp number WhatsApp number is only meant for people in the classroom. We don't have any for the... But you can tweet at me on Twitter. 
African Giant One or Blessing Kolaoli. That's my name. Ima says, please, uh, can I withdraw Google Access money through First Bank? Yes, 100%. Bright Future says, please, any WhatsApp group? No, none. Only for people in the classroom. Yoel says, can someone who seen a lot receive divine knowledge? Oh, yes. Let me put it that way. And I can explain that a little. Uh, divine knowledge has nothing to do with whether you commit sin or not. It, it's not uh, It's not a prerequisite for accepting Jesus Christ. It's a prerequisite for creation. So it has nothing to do with whether you commit sin or not. You're, if you commit sin, you won't go to heaven when you die. Or if Jesus comes before you die. That's the only wahala with committing sin. You can commit sin all you like and you still have a good life. You eat well, train your children well. Knowledge is what runs this world. God said it in the Bible. It was direct. He created the world based on wisdom of what he understands about measurement, calculations, and everything. And he runs the world by knowledge. So it's not by blood of Jesus that they are running the world. You know, that's why some people will be frustrated. I've been praying for 30 years. God is not listening to me because he doesn't run the world with your prayer. So your prayer, you're just uh, balabuling yourself. Prayer is supposed to be something that adds grace to you. Have a measure of something that is called the base. So even if you are going to pray and nothing is happening, at least that base will continue to sustain you. Not like your whole thing will just enter bush like that from beginning to the end because you don't have anything set up. People in the world are living. People in the world are breathing. They are not, it's not because they, you know, the people think there are people who are not following devil, they are not following anything. They are just there. They are not following Jesus, they are not following devil. They are just there. And they are okay. So, divine knowledge has nothing to do with whether you serve God or worship God or anything. The only good thing is, before you can activate divine knowledge, if you are not on God's side, that means you are not listening to the Holy Spirit, you go, Tay. you go, like the book where you go down read, then eh? you always like run mad. <laughs> You would have read books to a level that your brain, you yourself, you, uh, okay, maybe me, maybe I was the one that got there. It might not be a general thing. Don't let me generalize that. Because I remember I read to a level, I have a feeling I'm going to run mad very shortly. <laughs> I was having that feeling like something will be wrong with you. Because you got to a stage, everything everybody says is bullshit to me. That was when I knew I was in trouble. Like everybody, literally, I was not like an antagonist. If somebody said good morning, I would look at them and say, no, that's wrong. <laughs> Because ah, I didn't like myself those days. So I had to cycle back. Now I don't even converse with people. I don't have conversations with people. That was the solution I made to it. Because an average person would think they know what they are saying until they are speaking to people like us. And then I'm looking at the person as if say, this one a rabbit. You don't know anything. Like, and if you say it, you say me. Me, I know something. You know I'm successful. I'm just... So I now discovered that it was too much of knowledge that was disturbing me. So I, I zoned out of talking to people. And that's why if you are talking to me, I'm just like, you do more talking than I would talk if I'm talking to you in person. You know I'm online, so I'm talking now. I'm the only person talking here. But as only you're in front of me, I'll probably ask you a question and keep quiet. Because I can guarantee to you, everything you tell me, I will feel is wrong. And I can't be correcting an adult. So I just keep quiet and be laughing and follow through. Chad, talk with you until they go your house. Later, later, in another 10 years, we'll know who's wrong or right. That's just the way I attend to it nowadays. But by and large, divine knowledge is easily accessible if you're on the lost side, because one of the things the knowledge will teach you is to stop your sin. You see all these people that assess it, even the people of the world, they do not have this sin that you call sin in their life. There is no, let's put for example, sexual sins. There is no way you can be successful with sexual sin. I guarantee to you. All these big men you think they are carrying women. Go and look at the level of which they carry their women. All these girls they carry, they are there. There was a time they said that Tinubu came to uh, Ekiti State those days. They kept girls for them in hotels. The Tinubu did not get to those girls. I think they said they gave them 70, 70,000 or so then. He was extremely busy. The girls were there till he left back for Lagos. Then he just sent money to them. He didn't get to them and left. How many of you will they keep girl for? Somewhere that you will pay and you will not go to and go back. Can you greed? He said, may I quickly go do some more? Or let me just see them. You know, those men you think they are sinning, they don't prioritize those life. That's why they are successful. You, you are in a very terrible place, no money and stuff, and you are prioritizing sin. It's horrible. 
one of the things divinity will teach you first is to leave your yoke and carry God's own. The yoke of Jesus now you will carry. And the yoke of Jesus will not have sin in it. Because there's no way you can achieve your dreams and become anything if you are committing any sin. So that means the one million you are supposed to use for business that will give you an edge in another six months, a girl will probably collect 300,000 to buy one iPhone because you want to sleep with her. And then the money is 700, you can't do the business. And then six months later, somebody else does it and then you are behind the scene. Now you, are, you can't get to it. Like, if God shows you how many things you are throwing away because of this rubbish midnight call, all the time you are calling, you are wasting all your energy on talking to what? Or talking to... A lot of Jawajan things that sin will bring to you. Some people have sexual sins that all they think about. You know, I've, I'm a pastor and I see those things. Some people, when they start in the morning, before noon, they are looking towards masturbation because they don't have any other thing to do. So their brain is wired. Pornography, even people watch pornography in church. I've seen a lady like that before. Right then, now woman, no, she was in church, inside church, not my church, it's online that we saw it. They were praising, everybody was singing, and she sat down, popped up her phone, and started looking at pornography. And then the church camera was roving, you know, the, uh, what they call it, drones. Drones were roving, and the drone captured what she was watching under the chair. <laughs> a girl. And you tell me that kind of person will be successful. How? Because your productive time, productive years, you are not using. How will divinity drop anything in your knowledge when it's filled with lust? How will it drop it in when you are looking for fake money and how to make money, whether bad way or good way? When you are worried about, even ordinary worry. I'm not even talking about sin. Ordinary worry. If you are worried, you can't make money. Because now your brain is, I'm broke. They will send me out of this house. I don't have money for rent. I don't have sense. When will I get married? <laughs> you see, you are not at peace. My staffs here, what I do for them is to create atmosphere of peace for them. And I'll ask them, virtually all their rent, I, I give them all their houses and all. Because that's the first thing. And first of all, don't worry about paying house rent. Don't worry about paying NEPA bills. Don't worry about all those things that put people under pressure. I'll lift it for you. And I'll pay your salaries on time. So I do, and then sometimes I'll help them plan out to spend the salaries and what they save. And I promise them when you get to this level, I can give you whatever you have saved. That's what we are running. If you save 500000 I'll borrow you another five hundred to do another business on the side for yourself to raise more money. So everybody is calm. You can tell their faces are calm because that's the first thing. Your brain needs to be calm. That's when you can receive inspiration. If you're under pressure, that's why there is nothing anybody can do with this world. Pressure cannot get to me. Including my parents. If my father calls me, ha, ah, eh, the second thing I'll say, Daddy, calm down. They know, self. They don't even call me for stuff like that. Like things will happen in our house, they won't tell me. Except if it's good. But they say, eh, one aunt is somewhere. He just did a faint. Eh, they won't call me to tell me somebody fainted. They know. I don't want to hear it. It's better you tell me, hey, uh, please, we just need 100,000. I won't, if my dad says they need anything, I don't ask him what for, what. Mm -mm. Just tell me what you need, I'll send. Don't tell me the reason, self. I don't really care much. I'll just give and go. So they already know. Don't tell me somebody fainted or something caught somebody leg. I'm not really interested because now that you told me, I won't even do anything now. Because what? What's my own? Everybody will go through life at one point or the other. It might be palatable, it might not. That's why we're human beings. We are built to go through it that way. I don't whine or shout about my own. Things as I've... There was a day I told my dad, I said, if I tell you what happened to me or my children or my wife, sometimes you won't believe it that happened to me. Because to you now, you just think everything is rosy. I don't have any problem as if I'm living in heaven. It's only Jesus that lived in heaven and on earth together. I want to, that I will go to heaven in the evening and come back in the morning, you know, <laughs> when he rose up after resurrection. You know, he will go to heaven and then the next day he will come back again. Uh, nobody else has done that anywhere. But I genuinely notice that everything is still vanity. Whether you have money, you don't have, whether you are rich, you don't reach anything. At one stage, you shall get to 90 years and you die. And the day you die, everything you have achieved is useless. Because some other people just take it and do it any other they want. You don't have control right again. So, what am I screaming or shouting for? So, nothing bothers me. And that is when divine knowledge can come to you. When you can receive without jeopardy. That's when you get there. Because if you are biased, if you are in chaos, if you, whatever troubles you, you can't receive divine wealth, uh, divine knowledge, and then you can't build divine wealth. That's how it is. It's the difference between successful people in the kingdom and uh, people who are not.
I'm telling you this thing, I just told you this now. You just go and learn how to do it. And you see the difference. It's bam, bam, bam. All right, let's continue. Here we are. Okay, I think I read that already. Okay, I read that as well. Uh oh, I've almost finished, which is very nice. Marcus J says, please, what's the difference between hard work and smart work? Is, uh, the difference is stupidity of preachers who are talking about smart work and hard work. There is no smart work. You know, they want to brag smart work to you. People just coin those kind of rubbish words. And anybody who knows me on this channel, know, these are the kind of things that get me irritated. There is nothing like smart work. If It's a language that comes as if you, you are stealing or it's like 419 language. There's nothing smart. Every work you do that you term as smart work is hard work. So don't use word like smart work. There is no smart work. The fact that you know what you are doing, that means you already identified your purpose. That means you identify what you should be doing. There is nothing smart about that. It's grace. You are lucky to understand that this is what your SS is. Somebody like me, do you know how many things I've done? I told you, I learned makeup. Can you imagine me learning makeup and opening store for makeup? Wait till I define go there. Because I didn't understand what my purpose was. So I was learning everything that I felt could make money. I learned barbing. I learned baking. That I wear a prawn in Lagos in uh, Maryland and be frying pop off and uh, an egg roll. Me that you're looking at. I did vein center. I did nylon production. I was creating nylon beauty. I bought the machines and I was doing nylon. I do satellite installation. I was with uh, Star Times. I was with Multi Choice. I did Go TV. What else? I did laundry. I did furniture. I, I learned a learning. All these things I learned to, and I will create shops for. I will buy. That's why my sim. I have like 13 sims. As I'm talking to you. Even more. Because there are some CUGs that I, I don't use again. The question was, why was I doing all of these stuff? I didn't understand. Until God brought everything back to one spot and told me what to do. I don't want to show you my full room. <laughs> Thank God I controlled myself. I wanted to turn my camera and say, see. Because <laughs> that's why I have all my shoes and stuff. Everybody would just say, what? <laughs> so, the paper on this wardrobe here has been there for about 12 years. I can't even see what's on it again. You don't clean. You know, that paper is just like the size of my hand, like this. I pasted it on that wall and sellotape it. We have 16, giant six that you see today, 12 years ago, was when I got the six things I'm to do. In my whole entire life, I'm not looking for anything than to acquire these six things that is on this board. So I'm not looking for new ideas. I'm not looking for new inspiration. I'm not looking for anything. Once I got what my essence is and I knew this are what I'm supposed to do, boom, that was all. The day God blessed me the most in my entire life. You know, some people say the day of blessings is coming forward. The day I know that blessings came was the day I got those six things and I put it up. And that's Jan 6 that we see today. That's all. So as you're looking at me, I'm not looking to jack out to anywhere. I'm not, if you like, let uh, the VO, I'll be what they call them, of America come to my house and give me a visa. I know they go anywhere. Unless it tallies with any of those six things that are, is there, then I can figure it out and say, okay, maybe I have to implement. So to implement is easier when you already know. It's like wanting to build a house when you have the plan and you are a mason. That's all. But you say smart work. What's smart about that? After doing like 28 jobs, before I got to one, now that I got to the one, you now say I'm smart. I'm not smart. I'm mad working what grace gave to me to do. What purpose identified for me is what I'm mad working. There's nothing smart about me talking for three hours. What's smart in that one? <laughs> What's smart in me having 14 channels? I was recording, 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 recording. What's smart in me collecting $1,000 and using it to pay salaries? When I could have used it to feed myself and do the little I can do. Do you know how many people that are YouTubers who make even more than whatever I make on YouTube? And they don't have much team. They just have three teams. And we were expanding to something because we already had those purpose written down. We know what to achieve next. So people just build. You know, they see all these comedians. What do you think they are doing? They will buy all these abinos. They will buy cars. They will do their shows. They will build houses. That's all. Buy cars, build houses. Sabinus alone, with the amount of money he's making, could add, let's say, another 
50 comedians to blow on YouTube. Sure, you know. But has he done it? No. Because he doesn't have a plan for it. Me, I will blow. You can see me talk in the, like when we started this stream, and I was talking about comedians, I was talking about people who are going to sing, I was talking, I'm building studios so that people can come and use it to implement. You understand what I'm saying? Not because I want to make money from it, but they can, I can help the next generation because it's part of the dream. I already know it, so I'm implementing. So not because I can't go and use my 30 million invested there to go and buy Range Rover again or something. Mm -mm. You understand what I'm saying? So it's not smart. It is hard. Anybody that tells you any nonsense about smart work is just trying to water you down and it will not help you at all. Just focus on hard work and bang it down. Provided you are convinced it is what you should be doing. That makes the whole difference. Where are we? I think we're getting to the end of it. Sunday Nate says, good evening, the great guy. Happy Sunday and your family. Thank you very much. Thompson. Thompson. He says, I want to work under you as an apprentice. I'm in Zambia. <laughs> is that possible? <laughs> Capital, no. Nobody works for me online again. I've crushed everything. Everything is physical now. No online working. The Bania Danazumi says, good evening, sir. B. Abi Okolo says, good evening and happy Sunday, Pastor B. Okay, I mean, Lawal says, boss, I believe the giant requesting a video on Google Analytics is an out upgrade from Universal Analytics to Google Analytics 4. Some of us have difficulty switching to Google Analytics 4. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I could do that. I've done all my own stuff. Okay, I'll, I'll make that. I get you now. Life as PD says, good evening, sir. As the US, as the ban on non US accounts on Amazon KDP be lifted, I can't say, but I saw somebody who said he used Nigerian account and he went through. How truthful that is, I don't know. Maybe I'll continue to try. When I saw it, I was waiting for maybe two or three more confirmations before we see if it's lifted or not. Easy Mathematics Tutorial Online says, Boss, I'm thinking if the malware on my website is finished, still seeing strange websites on my blog. Strange websites. You're not using the live word. You can't see strange websites on your blog. Please talk to me on my WhatsApp. I know you're in the class. And show me a screenshot of what you mean by strange website. It shouldn't be there. Uh, he says, how can I increase my CPC in my access account? Unless you're in one-on-one, -on -one, that's when I can, uh, you can access those information. If you are on beginner's class, the, I'm not going to teach everything in the beginner's class. So when you monetize, that's, that's my job on the online beginner's class. If you are talking about increased CPC or increased rankings or all of that, it's in another master class entirely. It's like uh, GSS classes and SS classes. So that's for seniors. If any wow yeni says, Good evening, sir. This is my first time of joining your live sections. Thank you so much. May God bless you for the dedication in this class weekly. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Nice to have you join us. It's wonderful you're here. Mindful moment says, It's offering time. Please smash the like button. Boom, slash, smash the like button. God saying Chibuzo Unkoji says, Very correct, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, I think I answered that. Steven Tukai says, I optimized my keywords on Fiverr, but I haven't received any other yet. My account is seven months old, and I, have, and I have for the past two weeks. I've been online. Please help. The truth is, Fiverr is really competitive now, and most AIs are doing most jobs that. Uh, you know, regular guys are doing so you have to increase what you offer like reduce your price very well to like i call it reduce your price to a slavery mode so if you are charging maybe 80 dollars or 70 dollars for a book you probably just go to like 40 dollars so people it will look unbelievable and they order you you do more work you make more money because you're in nigeria so even if you make 500 dollars that's like half a million so just reduce your price to one ridiculous thing Instead of saying one month without doing anything, it's better you do more work and make your 500. Ice case scenario, you would uh, do external businesses. You know what I'm saying? Maybe open a very nice barbing salon that everybody will barbing and that will make you another 500 outside the 500 on Fiverr. So you won't really care, you know? You just have to balance your way around all these things, basically. But pricing is the main thing now. If you want to make orders on Fiverr, just reduce your price. You would have orders. Thompson says, I've been following you for some time. Thank you very much. Byra Funny Shot says, 
It seems like YouTube is harder than blogging. Both of them are hard though. There's no one that is easy. You just have to pick. That's why you have to do something that you can continue doing without getting results. Let's put it that way. But on the long term, blogging is more profitable than uh, YouTube. Like I told you, YouTube, if I don't post on YouTube for one month, I'll probably make about $500. If I don't post at all for one month. If I don't post on my blog for one month, I'll make more money. So let's, okay, now, now let me put it this way. If we are in uh, August, okay, if we are in August and I don't post at all for the whole of August, August 1 to August 30, and in July I made $1,000, guaranteed in August I'll make 500 It will reduce by half for not posting at all. But if on blog, if I make $1,000 in uh, July and I get to August and I don't post any post, that money will go to about 1,500 in August or one two. Let's say worst case scenario. On blogging, your money is consistent and it continues to increase because you'll be ranked on more things even if you are not posting. If you are posting, the more it makes it better. Long time it will continue to so on. You get to number one of it, and probably you get somebody to buy your blog two fifty thousand dollars one way or the other. But if it's YouTube, it will collapse. So YouTube is like a demon. You keep feeding it. But blog is not so. You might not write on your blog for a whole year. You continue to make more than you have ever had. A blog has consistent views. And I don't know why that thing is like that. Because if it ranks you on number two, you can't go back to number 10. It will probably push you to number one. And if they're going to dislodge you, you just do little tweak and teach here and there. And then you go back to number one, you know. So that one is really consistent compared to YouTube. YouTube is so messy. Unless, because even if you have good follow, for example, if I'm not posting video, how many of you will go back to my two-year-old video? But if I'm not posting on blogging, somebody will still say how to brush your teeth and it will bring out your old ranking, uh, you know, everything you've ranked for old, it will still bring it back up. <laughs> so blogging is really better off on a long term. But YouTube is easier for me and everybody because even on a new channel, all you just have to do is produce the long form and produce shots out of it and post everything on the same channel so long form short long form short that's the strategy i'm using for my new account although i'm not doing that on this african giant but i'm doing it on all of the accounts so if you have maybe 12 minutes video produce like two or three shots out of that post it to your shorts put the long one so shorts will bring in maybe 500 200 views the long one will have about 15 20 30 views you don't begin with that just continue to produce consistently like that. The same thing, purple, 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 one month, two months, monetized. Like that. But you have to know your content. You have to, like I thought this thing, content machine on dance tube, you know, it's just a lot of work, but that's what it takes. Money making is not easy now. If it was easy, our forefathers <laughs> would have made a lot of it. It's not. So I think it's just we that have the wrong uh, perspective about money, thinking it to be easy, but don't just wait for it to be easy. Just do what is needed, especially if it's legit money. You know what we're doing here is legit money, not like you're stealing. This is not Yahoo. It's not like somebody told you to go and bring your daughter and come and cut her head to make money. You know, like I was listening to this boy, uh, uh, Zazu. I saw it today on Twitter. Zazu, where he said he's a ritualist. You have to make a ritual before something. Then I said they will drop the video on Monday. Even me, I'm waiting for that video. Because <laughs> I want to see why he called himself a ritualist. You know, Zazu is like very normal guy that nobody knows. No single iota of class. It's just there. I'm a baboon. I'm a Zazu. And all of a sudden, boom, it just came out. And they said it was all I mean that, you know. So I want to know what is behind that they are rubbish that they are saying. Just so that we know whether all of them are doing juju. <laughs> okay. Ima is asking which type of account will you use to withdraw? It's dollar account. If you have uh, from your Google AdSense, you link it to dollar account. That's how you can, you know, get money there. Smart online market says, uh, what is the best affordable camera for YouTube videos? Anyone that can show your face. Like now I'm using my phone to record, although there's no good lightning here. I'm just using basic uh, lightning from the house. So, you know, anything that can show your face. I don't really know price of cameras. My own camera, when I bought it then, it was 1.2 million. One. That was one I bought. The first one I used on this channel, I bought it for three fifty. Then, but that's about going to three years now, like two and a half years. So it was December of twenty twenty. That was when I bought it. 
Then I bought another one after that time, maybe after one year. I think it was when we got to maybe 25,000, 10,000 subscribers or something. I just used that as a gift on. I can't remember, but I know the prices of things are like ballistic now. So it's not as uh, everything don't go up. I don't even know the price of anything again. Steven Tukai says, when did you start making money online? Which year, please? You do motivate me, uh, go on. Uh, my, uh, I'm about six years or going to seven years. I can't remember the exact, uh, unless I calculate it back. Uh, because I always say six years, seven years. That's what I always say. I can't remember the specific, but I know it was one July, June 23rd was the first time I got, I'm trying to remember the date. Let's just calculate it back. Just add three, three years. Maybe it was 2016 or 17. In between that one, yeah. I'm not really sure because I remember the events. Like I know the events that happened. I wasn't... And the reason for this for me is because I switched away from counting days and time. I was poor. So it's always painful when you know you remember your age, you remember the date and time because I'm a long-term planner. I don't plan short. So I planned 10 years, 8 years, 5 years. So when I wasn't achieving it because I was poor, there was no money, I was struggling, it was very difficult for me. So what I did was I zoned out of time. If you ask me, is today Friday or Thursday? I don't know. And the things they do me to today. I don't know whether it's Tuesday or Wednesday. And because you work for yourself, that's another bad thing. So I don't know Monday, different from Wednesday. Sometimes I think today's Friday and they tell me it's Tuesday, you know. And that was what I had been since then. So I zoned out of time. So the only thing I remember is year one, year two, year three. Just like I told you, in my, I remember my YouTube channel is two years and a half. Because I remember it's December. The reason I remember 2020 was Corona year. You know that Corona? <laughs> I thought all of us would have died by now. The way they were hyping that Corona year. If you just get to Africa, you'll be seeing carcass on the street. So I remember the first time they said they picked four people in Lagos for Corona. I called my bishop. I said, Bishop, if not, maybe we'll agree to go meet for heaven. We all laughed. Because I thought the thing was so deadly the way. Because I wrote about it. I knew this thing was deadly. So I figured it's going to Nigeria. You are telling me Nigeria. <laughs> the first time I went to the bank, when Corona just got lifted, I did not enter my house. So I already put this uh, uh, pressure pump that we used to wash car. I put it outside. When I came from town, now me drive myself go with all the nose masks and everything. Now for outside, now I carry that and they wash my body with clothes. Soaked and drenched. So my wife put a uh, towel on the railings. When I did all of that, I removed my clothes, put towel on my body. And then she made, that was, those days they were talking about, I can't remember, maybe they should have this concussion thing they put together, like they will grind the honey with some things. You know, Nigeria, they will say this one, we heal it. <laughs> Nigeria will say, just grind, grind the pepper with this one, with this one. They should have those things then. So she gave it to me, I used it to rub all my body. So if we enter my house, when my wife and children are the say, in case the thing won't kill me, may kill me alone, may leave them. <laughs> Coronavirus or something else. I thought we were all gone. So that's why I remember 2020 very well. Because uh, God told me to open the YouTube channel in April. I didn't, uh, I opened, but I did not do anything. So I started posting on it in November. <laughs> it's crazy how these things work. And here we are today. God has given us victory over coronavirus and uh, I didn't know anybody that coronavirus killed. Not even one person. Except for, you know, all these Abba Kiari, what they call that Kiari that time. The SSG or something. Chief of Staff Nigeria. And some of them just died their dead self. It's not even corona. They just like, you know that time if you die from malaria, they say it's corona. If you die from acid, they say it's corona. So I know there are a lot of manipulations about this corona thing. And funny enough, some Nigerians took that they are nonsense. Uh, what do you call it? That they are nonsense uh, vaccine. I'll, I'll be the last person to say vaccine in this world. And you know, I had friends who took it because they were going to UK. I said, you have money. Because I'll go and take vaccine because I'm going to UK. I'd rather go back to Osho and be farming there instead of going to... I'm so crazy about these things. Oh, you both will come and... Uh, you took my forefather's uh, slave. You still come and take me slave at my age. And I tell you I'm wise. I tell you I'm learned. Some of us are not learning, though. It's shame on us, though. You carry all your family, sell everything you have here because you want to jack to go and be washing one old 80 year old bum bum there and because you want to make dollar. Let me stay and be hungry. I prefer it. That's the simple truth for me, oh. I mean, I can't even be hungry. 
there are millions of people on the street buying things every day. Abi, especially if you live in Lagos, just go to Shodi. You see plenty of people. Just figure out what you can sell to all of them. You'll be comfortable. Maybe it's a long truth. Why must I build the hotel? What do I want to use the hotel do? Why must I buy Rose Ross? Just buy a decent Corolla that has AC. She can now be become a bad pussy. <laughs> Just buy small, small fuel and enjoy yourself. Buy a pass my neighbor. You train your children and die at some point. Just be happy. Happiness is the whole deal. It's just like most people think money is what brings happiness. Money is not what brings happiness. At least I know now. The more money you have, the more problem you might probably get. And unless you got the money from a source that you enjoy. I mean, I'm not facing problems with any money anywhere because I enjoyed the whole process. So it's cool. But imagine if I got money from a source I didn't like. And you can't even be proud of. How do you now enjoy the money? You won't. Because the guys go, they pinch your belly. Because you know you got this money wrongly. My God, we help us, yeah. Let's read the last uh, set of uh, questions. Okay, let me drop this here. We're almost getting to the end of it, so uh, we'll probably just read the last set. Where am I? Matthew Mouth says, Good evening, sir. Stephen Tukai says, Okay, I think I answered that. Mr. Melchizedek. Melchizedek, okay. So, good evening, Pastor B. How can I join your class? It's Jan's classroom. You can join it on Jan's classroom or you tweet at me on Twitter at African Giant One. And then we have Business Act TV says, Good evening, sir. Kia Ward says, Please, sir, when can I start putting affiliate links in my articles? When you get monetized? When you get monetized? Because that's when you have enough traffic. That's just the way it is. Mindful Moment says, Sir, do you believe in dreams? Like when you go to bed and dream. <sighs> when you go to bed and dream, and what dream do you believe in? I don't know. It depends on how active you are with your dream or what your expectations are about it. Dreams are always good. But it doesn't really count. A lot of people have missed their real life because they had a dream. Because your dream can be hacked. Even no matter talk, I can hack you to dreaming about something. And it's not reality. The devil can influence your dream. Ordinary soothsayers can influence your dream. God can speak to you your dream. So the whole thing is if you understand the pathway by which God speaks to you. I don't... I don't. I can't remember dreaming about anything. If I dream, I know what I dream about. But basically, it's not like dream is big. Because a lot of people will just watch one movie now and dream about the movie. Yeah, they hack your dream. So that's not anything. And people will even assume it. Some some prophets will tell you something in a dream, and they are just hacking your dream. It's not real. I wrote a book about dreams, so I understand how these acts go on. It's uh, manipulations. It's evil spirits. They use all sort of stuff. So I don't focus on that. Dreams is not the best form of uh, conversations. But because most of us read about Joseph and how he was in a dream, he saw, so most people think dream is like the best. Nah, just let the Holy Spirit speak to you, hear the voice, or let it speak to the Spirit of God in you, and then you equate it. You must find a way to know what God speaks to you by and from. If you don't know the voice of your father, it's your fault, because your father is your father. That they want to aspire to know his voice and how he behaves, and which is relationship with God, which is very important. But you can't skip, you know, having relationship with God, and all of a sudden you need God. That's how some people say, How did you choose your wife? I didn't know she's the best. I say, I have a relationship with God all my life. So when you go to the time of choosing a wife, it's not a problem. But for somebody who had not been with God, all of a sudden you need a wife, and they say, God, which one should I choose? Has he ever told you anything before? The choice of your school, the choice of the job you are doing. Which one has God helped you choose before? You choose everything yourself. So when it gets to wife, go and choose and choose your rubbish. You suffer it. But if you have been with God and everything he chooses for you, then when it gets to wife, you will naturally just choose it for you. You don't have a problem with when he says this one and not this one. You just continue like that. It's very easy. Everything is about your relationship with God. So polish that. Make sure you are spending time with him. And you see how massively your life will change. Positive view. To change better, better, better all along. Okay. Uh, Gide Olabisi says hello. And then we have Thompson he says, How much can I pay for a website if I join the class in Zambia? I don't really know much about Zambia. He says one dollar is 17 kwacha. I don't even know anything about that. Maybe you just convert the naira 42 naira to Zambia kwacha. So it's kwacha that they spend in Zambia. Wow. 
Jada Rabisi says, how can I start to make money online? That's on you. You figure that out. I only need to teach which ones we know. If you check the channel, that way you know what you have interest in. Uh, Marcos J says, please, how do you get audio books to read? I mean, where do you get them? I really wish to listen to them when working online. Any recommendations, please? I have two ways of doing it. Sometimes I download it on YouTube and turn it to MP3. And then you can do it on uh, uh, Amazon Audiobook, I'm trying, AUX, Audible. They call it Audible. Because they have one month free. You can download anything. So I put my credit card. I have a credit card I open just for online. There's no money in it. So when I put it and then they register me for that one month, I'll download like 1,000 books or even more. Once like that. And then I cancel the registration. So that way. And before they always block me, I would have done it like three times. So sometimes I get about 5,000 books, once like that, and I just continually listen to it. That, that not now, I've done that like all the times I was building up myself. Now I'm tired of listening to anything because I'm implementing. And most time, even if I listen to anything, there are things I know better. You know, when an author is speaking and I already know more than what you're even saying. So I, I'm no longer into reading or listening again. I'm into, I'm in the phase of implementation. You know, we have four different phases of life. <laughs> hey, we, four different phases of life. Phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four. So I'm in the phase four, which is implementation. There's nothing. What I am the orator now. Whatever decision I take, make now is to go into a book. It's no longer somebody thought or somebody said. Nothing anybody talk anywhere where they enter my ear again. I am now the person that says, even if it doesn't make sense to everybody, that you just discover what I'm saying now that doesn't make sense. Wait for another two years, then you have said that he said it. Because that's what you go into a book now. I'm like Einstein now. Whatever I think now is the correct one. <laughs> that's phase four. Don't believe me. Oh. In under three years, you remember I said this today. And probably somebody will trace this video at that point and said, because he said it. Whatever is happening today, I said it about three years ago. And some people thought it was a joke. And then somebody referred back to it. It was on Ireland. And I said it. But it is what it is. Brian Emeriole says happy Sunday. A business activist says B. Mr. Mezi Shedek says, Sir, how you talk about being at peace? How can someone be at peace when he's under pressure? Because you think your life is your life. You think your career is your career. You know, whatever is your... Okay, now let me... <laughs> this is the best example for peace that would guarantee you have peace all your life. If you're driving on the road, and you see an Okada man have an accident, maybe somebody died there or injured, and you are going to work, and you drove past, do you always lose your peace? Or how do you react to it? Your reaction will be like, hey, yeah, they've broken this man's leg. Oh. Maybe you are listening to, oh, Lord, send your fire, and whatever. And then you just say, oh. maybe you slow down, you just watch them, and then you are going to work. In another, 30 seconds. What happened? You probably forgot about that. And you just continue thinking, oh, Lord, send your fire. Ah, you just be saying, this Nigeria is terrible. Can you imagine? That one now might not be clinical. Either. You just go. And when you get to work, do you lose your peace because you saw one person broke their leg on the street? Do you always lose your peace? Let's be frank. I'm waiting for answers, please. <clears throat> do you lose your peace if you are driving to work and you saw somebody fall on a bike and probably injured his leg, do you lose your peace throughout the day? Because somebody broke his leg. Just one answer before I go on. I want an answer, so I would... Uh, uh, one answer. Nobody's answering me. Is everybody behind me on this stream? Because I notice some people are like four or five minutes behind what I'm saying, basically. You know, depending on when you join, I think a lot of people are behind me. They are not getting me at the point of my speeches. We are coming back to it. Aha, Adibayo Sadiq just answered me. He said no. Smart Online Marketing said no. He said the Ceteris Paribus. Okwemila says no, except the victim is a relative. Now, okay, Rems of Konera say I don't anymore. Ajilo says no, I can't. The reason why is not because you are not a human being. You recognize that this is a human being. It's something you flash pain you in a second. IP says no. You see, everything is no. It's a human being. That person belongs to him. Maybe he has a child. He has a... You don't know. But if you get to work and then your wife calls you 
and says, sorry, they said they have been calling you online, it's not going, that your daddy fell down on a bike while coming to your office or your house. You see at which point? They now said the exact point. The same place you saw a man fall on a bike that had problem with the leg, that you didn't know it was your dad. The wife now said, they just said your wife, your, your father fell on the bike. And you now realize that that was your father you saw. How peaceful will you be at that point? <laughs> How easy? Will you feel the same level of peace you felt after you saw you say, yeah, Nigeria, and you passed? And now you recognize it's your father. How do you feel? All of a sudden, rush of blood, headache, you tummy pain, you are sweaty, like your life turns to bala blue because it's your father. The whole essence of peace is your ability to detach yourself from intimate things that concerns you. That's the whole essence. You can't do that as a human being because you are invested in your own life. Most human beings take control of their life instead of handing it over to God. The only way you can hand over your life to God is if you give your life to Jesus, which means my life is no longer my life. How many people will agree that their life is no longer their own? So it tells you you can no longer smoke. And you enjoy smoking. Now there is a problem. You can't take smoking from me. It tells you you can no longer womanize or manize. Now there is a problem because you want to enjoy sleeping with everybody you love. He's telling you, you can no longer live this life you think is yours. You have to follow my own yoke. Now there is a problem. So you see why we can't have peace. But for those of us who have accepted Jesus Christ, we know that there is no bad event. Every event is from God. Whatever you think is bad is not bad. There is something in there that is tilting you towards the right place that you might not know. God uses these things to control us and pull us to the right path. Even if it's for no reason, provided it's coming from God, I'm cool. I pray heavily that nothing comes from devil towards me. But everything I see, I believe is not from the devil, it's from God. So I maintain my peace. It's just like that. Whatever thing you think is happening to you has happened to me or even more or worse. But I'm here because I don't feel pain or nothing bothers me. My dad will say, your level of peace is alarming. I say, because I'm not the owner of it. Somebody will even tell me, eh, if you're not the owner of it, what if I'm sick? If your body is in, who is the owner of my body? Temple of God. Am I the one that built the temple? No. Who gave me this body? God. Who made it grow? God. Is it not right and business I'm eating and I'm growing? So if he decides to take it and say maybe there's a problem with the body, let it go. It's not, it's not me. I'm not worried about that. And what if you die? Which day will you not die? So why was the point? And you leave your children. Who is the owner of children? Is it me? No, God is the owner of children. He will take care of them. Why are you worried if you are no longer? Do you know how many people have lost their father and mother and everything? And they are even greater than you that have your own father and mother. They did well than you that have your own both parents. And they don't have any. They are better than you. It's not. Eh, some people are worried they want to take their children abroad so that they will have a better life. I'm looking at them. You people are completely foolish. Who told you why you take them there? That's why they have a better life. Maybe you carry the children there, they will turn to gay now in your, in your life. Right in your presence. That nonsense, America will take your children there. They will start drawing tattoos, doing things and forming gay and changing their sexes. And then you start crying and praying. You can't give a child a better life. You can't give them a bad life. Everything that breathes and lives, non-living thing, belongs to God. When you identify that, you know that is the God of time and season. The office I'm using today, look, only saying this alone gives me chills. I can feel the my body is having goosebumps just by mentioning it alone. I was looking for an office when fuel was still 200 and something. When Balabulu has not come up. I got a fantastic office. They gave me the papers to sign. I signed it. I was seated. I wanted to transfer money to them. And then they said, we'll get back to you. Ah! You can imagine what I was feeling. But because I'm used to it, I told the boy that was my boy that was with me. I said, they said they'll get back to me. That means they don't want to give up. It's the most beautiful place I thought I could see ever. But it's far from my house. So I'm looking. I'm like, why are they not giving me what I want? What's going on? She devil don't they attack me from beginning. Eh? But I'm used to it. So I went back. I said, okay, don't worry. I'll pray about it and see what happens by tomorrow. They're not coming. You. I called them. Hey, we'll call you now. Don't worry. We'll call you. Three days. I think it was after the second day. I just picked it in the spirit that, no, 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 no. Something is like I'm making an error. Because sometimes you just walk into these errors, you won't know. But God knows better. So he stops it. 
I just, I just told my wife, say, even they come now, I'm not going there again. She said, ah, that place that is perfect. I said, I don't know. Then one week later, I, I now continue searching for office again. And I don't like searching. You know, I have plenty of work. I can't be roaming the street looking for where to use that office. Before I got this one. The day I got this one, it was a complete me like mix-up. <laughs> I was coming from the gym. I was driving. Then I saw this guy that I recognized his face when I first came to Abuja as an agent. I drove past him. I saw him. I said, hey, this is the guy that I was looking for us for all that time now. I reversed back to him. And I said, you are an agent? He said, yes. He said, yes, sir. You know, that time now, now there is wealth a little. So our dominion is different. So he was like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. He now ran to me. And I said, and I'm looking for a place. So he said, ah, that we don't really have much places. So everything is taken. I said, hey, no place at all. He said, the one that they have, nobody wants to really use it. I said, which one do you have? He said, it's too plenty. That is four bedroom, just like that. Two sitting room, something. <laughs> In my mind, he doesn't know what I'm looking for. I said, that's the one I want. So he said, let's go there. He said, okay, say you come in the evening. I said, you are who? Call you when? Let's go there now, now, now. He says, attend this somebody. I said, I'll stay here till you finish. So he attended to them and then followed me. We went there. When I got there, now, because this is how I operate, I will pray about something to the level I will see it in the spirit before I go physically. Immediately I stepped into that house. When I saw it, I knew this was it. The first one we took that I wanted to pay for was not the exact same thing, but because that one was new, I convinced myself. I said, well, let's use it like that. We'll manage. I said, but it's not the exact protocol you always follow. I said, we managed because I was tired. I've looked for uh, uh, office one month. I was tired. I said, no, just let's go. Until I saw that one. And this office, eh, the day I wanted to pay for the place, three people were there, seated with me. They wanted to pay. Look, at that was now when Bala Blue entered. The person that said he wants to give it to Yorubama. <laughs> and I was the only Yorubama. They don't know me before. That's that's what they used to give me the place. Just because Inubu just entered. I, I've enjoyed Inubu. <laughs> In Abuja. They just said, Yoruba Manu. I said, me, I'm Yoruba. Because my name is what I don't even sound Yoruba. Blessing. I said, hey, Yoruba. Then I said, okay. That's how they give it. Otherwise, some other people would have taken it. Because I was sitting there, I was saying, hey, like Bami. So, this place that I've seen, that I, they will still collect it for my again. So, sometimes or most times, that's how things work. Every scenario is for your good. But because you think you are the one running your life, you are the one telling God what you want, waiting you know. Between me and you waiting you know. We don't know anything. Let, unless you don't trust God, let him just do his thing. You just follow him. That's all. But the problem is, are you ready to follow God? No. Are you ready to obey him? No. So, you are the source of your problem. Because when God is speaking, you can't hear. You are, you are drunk. When God is speaking, you can't hear. Because you are online, chatting, naked girls and all of that. So at which point will you receive anything? Because your mind is not pure. God does not speak to the flesh. He speaks to his spirit. So if your spirit is not clean, there's no way you can tap. So your spirit is moving towards darkness, moving towards destruction, moving towards uh, pornography, moving towards all the terrible, terrible things. That's why, that's why your body is alarming. That's why you're panicking. That's why you feel like you want to kill yourself. You want to die. You want to... Everything is wrong. Because your heart is not moving towards the right place. It's like when somebody is eating poison. You have high blood pressure, you have diabetes, you have you took it, you are eating food wrongly. But if you are eating the correct thing, you are eating good meal, you are exercising your body, all of a sudden you just move towards peace. You move towards a place of that is good. That's exactly how it works. But when we say I save Jesus Christ now, it looks as if they are putting one load on your head. It's to help you. Jesus Christ is to help you. Like I said, even if there is no heaven we are going to, I will still continue to serve Jesus. Because whatever it is that he's doing for us is fantastic. He's teaching us everything that makes life easy for us. But you don't know. All oh, these pastors are looking for miracle. Miracle, 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 miracle. I don't look for any miracle. Let me just breathe and obey what the Bible has said we should obey. It's better that way. Forget miracle. Real life will deliver things to you. It's not as bad. But when they start looking for miracle, looking for... Uh, so you won't work hard. You won't be able to plan things. You won't be able to... Because you're just looking for boa miracle ones. That's how to get your peace. Hand over everything to him. So whatever happens, you are still breathing. Whether you are suffering, you are breathing. That's why I suffered for three years, or three and a half. But that's why I for three and a half. I can't really remember very well. Complete suffering. But I will just breathe. And I can tell you today, it was then, all this book I told you I would download, it was then now. That was when I had time to be downloading books. Because I know I'm supposed to be learning something at this point. 
there is no wilderness experience that will go for 40 years unless you don't do what you're supposed to be doing. Israelites were there for 40. The Bible was clear now. 40 days became 40 years. Because they were doing everything wrongly. So God kept them there until you get sense. You know they go anywhere. I mean, I don't want to be that. So anytime I see anything not going my way, instead of panicking or going to a mountain to pray, no, I quickly circle back to what I have missed. Lord, what did I miss? What am I supposed to be doing and not doing? I quickly circle back to that. Oh, that's the only thing. God doesn't keep you in the wilderness for what? To train you. So if you are not well trained, you can be there for 10 years. The suffering you are going through today, whatever God is supposed to train you with, you are not getting it. You will be there. It's not prayer. You can't pray your way out of what God is training you with. I love my children, but I still train them. Don't think, of, you know, all this, uh, what God cannot do the rest is they, they have scattered the whole ministry thing for people. You, so you think God will be emotional because you are crying every night. Then. So God will just be one day, just say, My child is crying. And if your child wants to go to electricity and put his hand, and you know this thing will shock this boy and die, is there a cry? That cry will cry as a parent that you allow the boy to go there. Is there, any, is there anything a child can do that you allow a guy, a, your child, firstborn child, put his hand inside something that can kill him? Is there any cry? That's exactly what you're doing. Lord, help me. It's not going to die there. You know, go help you. Kill yourself, you go to heaven. You will, if you are you kill yourself, you will go to hell. And if you have potential, kill you. You will go to heaven. You will, an angel will come and carry you. The heaven is there for you now. It's not like God is shying away from, you know, putting you in a house in heaven. But you should understand that whenever anything goes wrong, if I have a child that I slap, I say, stop doing it, I slap you. Bam. Is it because I hate the child? No. But the slap is to reset you. So you were there. If a child quickly says, Oh, so I'm not supposed to do that. Next time he doesn't do it. Will I still slap the child? No. That is the principle of heaven. If he puts you in a wilderness, it's to learn. If you continue to cry and shout and break, you did there 40 years. 40 days will turn to 40 years. But immediately you recognize that, Oh, I'm supposed to adjust. I'm supposed to miss. You pick it. Look, my three years or three and a half years, it was my stupidity. That thing should have. Been like six months highest because all the things I'm supposed to learn, I should be learning. So now I've outgrown that. That's what makes giants. I identified when there's a problem in your life, there's something you are missing. Don't go ahead praying for solutions, pray for power to identify what you missed. The two different prayers what did I miss? Where did it go wrong? When you figure that out and you can see it, it always will lead you to that. Then you now know what to do. Boom, you're out. But you are praying for solution of what you have not corrected. That's no solution. You don't have, uh, let's say your car doesn't have brake, but you did not know. So every time you want to drive the car, there's no brake, you eat something, you repair the car, but you did not know it wasn't brake. Every time you drive it again, you press the brake, it did not stop, you hit something. Which day will you pray? And that solution will be there. The only prayer you will pray is to ask God, why, where is this motto having something? So the least we will tell you, check your brakes. And then when you see the brake, you're like, oh, there's no brake. Then repair the brake, repair the car, and drive. It will never have accident again. But if you continue to say, Lord, I bind every spirit of accident. It's not a spirit of accident. You have missed something. And pastors will not tell you to go back to reasoning. Because when you can reason, they know they will not collect your offering. And uh, they won't see money to collect from your hand. They have to create fear in you. Fear. 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 It's fear that pastors are eating. Me, I'm not creating fear in you. I'm telling you reality. You create fear in you. Fear. You are panicking. Someone else say they will cost you if you do something. So, as if it's not a human being that born them. As they born me, I saw them born you. God called me, gave me some extra powers, but it's not to destroy anything. It's to make things better. So, why would I be panic, creating problems for you instead of creating solutions? I'm telling you, no matter the problem you think you have, you have missed something along the line. That's why you have it. Pray that God will expose to you what you missed, not what you... Don't be praying for unnecessary solutions. Okay. Barida le Bari. <laughs> says, good evening, the big giant, another giant in the house. Yo, it says, smart work is the word of copywriters. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. It's just like marketing word. It doesn't exist. End time reviver says, Good evening, sir. Please, where do I find trending viral topics on hairdressing? Secondly, why is my channel not going fast? I think I've explained a lot about this, but to find viral topics, 
just go to Google Alerts and set air addressing on Google Alerts. It will send the alerts of everything that is going on Google that people are trending of asking for. It will send it to your emails. You set your email there, and that will give you everything to you. Uh, Bamsin Emmanuel says, "How do you how do get conviction on what to do? How do you get conviction on what to do? It's clarity of purpose. It's not something that comes to you in a day. I told you I've read, I have stopped counting, but I read twenty thousand books before I stopped counting." So for me, who had read 20,000 books across anything I see, I have clarity. I've seen like, cut out to the end of the world. <laughs> you know when you read books of that quantity, forget it. Your intuitiveness, your brain, your senses, everything will open. So nothing bothers me. Look, whatever problem I have today, I've seen people who have times 10 of it that I've read. I've seen how they got out of it. They've shared their experiences. But for you, you don't know anything. It's just like, carry my daughter now, who is in year one, and tell her to go and write jump. She will not be, maybe only her name, that's what she will write. It doesn't mean she doesn't know. If you put her in JS1 back and give her anything in JS1, she will crush it. But take her to jam. That's how you are. But if you can teach this girl continuously till she gets to that jam level, even if it's in one year you taught her, she'll be able to do something. She might fail, but at least she will not be bamboozled. Your level of knowledge is lower than what you are living on. It's a major problem. You are just 40 years old, but there is... You don't have the capacity that a 40-year-old is supposed to have. You have children, but you are, no, you are not qualified to be a husband. You are not qualified to be a father. You are only in that role by age. It's like when they choose you to be a king in your hometown and you are a farmer. You see, even in the olden days, they will tell you, we can't choose. If you want to choose a king, he must be influential, he must have money. So if I cannot just go and choose one nonsense person, they will not agree. You know why? Because the nonsense person you choose will not grow this community. If I cannot go and choose one rubbish for us, it won't grow our community. <laughs> you see that? But you now, you are 52 years old, you are 49, you are 32 years old. You don't have what it takes to be at that age and you are not bothered to know what it takes to be at that age. And you can tell me, how do I know? Your mates that are 28 in UK, what do they know? Your mates that you heard are successful in US, what do they know? But here, I'm just looking for money. Uh, let God, let me ball. Let me turn to buy us. Let me be going to Dubai. You are just looking for the end point. You are not looking at the in. Everything has an in and out. It's like data. When you put data on the phone, it begins to function and can see all over the world. If there is no data in it, it can't see anything. It's just a natural phone. Put data in you. How do you put data in yourself? Information is data. How do you get information? Books. How do you get books? Read everything you can lay your hands upon every day. Cultivate the habit of reading. It will expand your horizon. And when you can get your horizon in play, then, you see, earthly knowledge will inspire your divine knowledge, the ability to tap. Even if you're a sinner, you'll be able to tap into the divine. Because this thing will be open. Imagine what I'm telling you, just one person talking for maybe one hour. Imagine how you're feeling. Imagine how your head is boiling, like, woo, woo. Now imagine if you are doing this every day for the next three years. I'm not talking about making money. You see how easy money will be. You can make money in your sleep. You can do nothing and make money. You can just be mm, 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 and you are making hundreds of millions of dollars. Because your rising will peak. Somebody told me uh, when we were setting up all these audios in the live place, he said, Pastor B, you have not said one bad thing to me in the past three years. I said, yes, I can't say any bad thing to you because I don't see bad. It's like God does not see sin. I know they see bad. Even if you tell me something is bad and I'm looking at it, it's the good that I don't know how I configured my brain to this level. Even me, I'm amazed by the work of God in my life. I can't see bad. No matter how bad the scenario is, I'm looking at the good. I can't, and you can't force me. My wife will say, hey, but is it like you're lying? I say, I'm not lying. I can't see it. My eye know they see evil. You know they see bad. Now the good inside that evil, now they see. I know they see evil. Because there's always a way out of everything. So I've been trained like that. I've been wired that way. And I can guarantee to you this was not how I was. Even after university, this was not how I was. But when your rising increases to a level, mm -hmm. you now see that most of these people that are successful writing things, provided they have consumed your Bible, otherwise some of them will be teaching you witchcraft and all these things. <laughs> you might enter bush if you don't have your Bible. So the first point of call is your Bible. Because your Bible is like your, it's your insurance. It's your target. It's everything. So anything anybody is saying, 
you just go out that everything even sometimes they don't know what it is they just tell you they were lucky or they'll just say something happened they can't trace it but you that you are a christian you already know this is god operating in the life of a man because he's continued creation so it's not a case of sin or no sin it's continued creation by embedding his spirit in them they'll pick it up it's like a radar they pick up that divine knowledge they will implement it for you that you're a christian that you're supposed to be exhibiting this in abundance you are nowhere to be found because you don't have that basic knowledge can you imagine me speaking english to somebody who doesn't understand english no matter how good what i'm saying is no matter how valuable it is they will never understand so you are like vernacular is when god is speaking is like vernacular to you because you don't understand you don't have the basic human knowledge to interpret what he's saying and that is another problem so books upon books upon books that's what you should be galvanizing towards that makes a lot of sense no room and it says good evening it has been a while i'm glad to be here thank you for coming lebari barida says please the big john is it possible to convert all the articles that i've written on a subdomain block spot to a custom domain no it's not you say you have 30 articles on your blog post. No. Uh, unless you con blog spot, nah. Because blog spot, you can't even convert that. You can only point the if it has traffic. You can point it like you can point the domain. That block spot domain. You can point it to a real domain. I think that you can point your blog spot domain to a real domain. So if anybody types that blog spot, it will redirect them back to your main uh, to your new domain if they are in the same niche. But that's if it has traffic. That's the only way. Quadri Follow Richard says, Thanks, boss. I'm also looking for more videos. For My audio is down. All my microphone is off. Okay. I'm sure you can hear me now. This one's quick dial. Anyway. Let's continue. Let me even see if this one can charge it. Yeah, I just... I don't know if you can see the difference in audio. Oh, this one can charge it. I used it for... I use the microphone for live streaming on our Giants uh, Sports channel yesterday. And the two, we use the two at the same time for about three hours because they postponed us that much. So we are there for three hours. The two of them are dead. So they try, Sha, because I'm sure I've used about three hours here too. 120, that's 60, 60, 60 is 180. Yes, I've used about two and a half hours or so two hours, 45 minutes. So. They tried. But you can hear me. I'm using no audio now. So uh, I'm using direct audio from the phone. So by and large, I can't even remember where I stopped talking. Okay, for the classroom. Anyway, tomorrow again, we'll start again. So we'll be able to fix every all the questions or whatever we have. Uh, by God's grace. Okay. Dog home says, God bless you, sir. Thank you. Says, sir. Can I make 100,000 half payment? Yes, now we do that. For the one-on-one, -on -one, you can do half payment, and then three months, you find a way to balance. But I always say, in the first three months, you can't make money. So if you are thinking, oh, okay, if I pay 100K now, and I join the one-on-one, -on -one, in three months, I should have made money, I can guarantee zero. You can't make anything before the first three months. Because a lot of people are coming from zero, like, rubber ground. It will take a lot of wash in six months, eight months. Some people want yes, F before they can get to that level. You know, most people just think making money is just making money. You, it's you that will learn everything. It's, you have to learn and learn and learn. And some people, we can't say, I've been here for eight months. Eight months that you have not even finished learning. How do you make if you have not learned? You have to learn now. And that's how it goes. 
Uh, Mickey Rich says, sir, what is your advice on article length on the first 50 articles? Just write about 2,000 words. That should be fine. If you are your E&E, he says, please, how regular is this class? Regular is regular now every time. It's 24 hours. Me and me, I'm always working now. So the class is regular, extremely regular. But we give you a lot of work that you do, implement, implement, and that's it. He says, what do you think about review blog niche? It's almost a no-no now because unless you are reviewing something you can buy and afford, which I doubt. So don't even bother. If you are reviewing a chair, that means you have to buy the chair, snap it, because that's how you can review. You can't just review something and be copying, you know, videos online and stuff, so it won't work. Uh, Danik TV says, Good evening, Pastor B. How can one conquer suicidal thoughts? Uh, by putting in futuristic plan that are very juicy. And then you start implementing towards it. You don't want to die. <laughs> you don't want to die before you get to your target. So that will eliminate it immediately. It's just one thing, just one principle. For example, I have uh, a lot of male children. And in my head, I want them to play football, at least one of them. But I know if I leave myself to whom it may concern, it may not happen quicker. So I have the dream of buying a football team in Europe. I've searched around as at today. If I have about $15 million, I can buy a Division Two club in Sweden or in France, you know, $15 million. So I'm thinking, okay, even if it is Singapore, you know, I can just get one there. And it is what it is. That's what I'm doing. So my target now is to have $15 million by the time those children are getting to 12, 13. Because that's like the premium age when they'll start playing football. So you see? <laughs> you now tell me I will now go and kill myself before my children play football. No. You put a very big dream in front and then you start moving towards it just to achieve that because of something valuable to you. You no go die again. But if you don't see life, you can't feel yourself, you don't have a reason to live, that's when you go down. Because there's no reason to wake up tomorrow, you know? And because the dreams are not big enough. When you have big dreams, okay now, this thing I told you now about the stadium and the club, I didn't think about it today. I thought about it in 2009. I wasn't married in 2009. I don't have any children in 2009, but I wrote it down. It's part of the Jan 6 of what I'll do then in terms of sports and entertainment. It is just that. I think the problem is we had been taught to just live, not add enough value to life, just eat food and build house and you know, these buy cars. That's, that's what our targets are. Very wrong way of living. If you're not putting things to help people, to really blow out your community, you know, it's, it's, it's bad. Very bad. Because if you are living for yourself alone, it's easy to give up. But when you're living for people, you can't give up. You can't. And that makes the difference. Okay. Where am I? Ooh. Okay, I think I've read that. Please don't commit any suicide, though. It's, uh, we love you and we want you to achieve every dream that is here. Uh, Mr. Melcy Zedek says, Actually, this is my first time joining your live. The teachings today was meant for me. Thank you for your advice. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. Daiwil Gassika says, Hi, sir. This is your boy, Daiwil, from Ghana. I'm a bit downcasted when you said my niche is very, very low RPM on YouTube. But I want to ask if the RPM for animal niche, I mean wildlife. A, a lower RPM means more views. Don't, don't confuse lower RPM as if it's a bad niche. It's just like when you are doing comedy or something. It's low RPM, but it has views. It has wide range. That's why it's low. For people in money making, apart from people teaching fake, fake things, you won't have 1 million view, 500,000 view. It's very rare. But majorly, you're going to be having 10,000, 50,000, 20,000. But the RPM is high. So if you have 10,000 views, you'll probably have RPM of about $15 or $7. And then that gives you $70, $100, you know? 
But for somebody who has low RPM, they might have 200,000 views. So don't worry about the, you know, number of views, right? Uh, number of RPM, it will have more views. So it will cover for it. That's how it works. Otherwise, you won't be able to build anything. For the same thing with animals. Animals too don't really have much RPMs. It's only money in finance that has plenty of RPM. Any other thing is like relatively low here and there. But they usually have more views. That's just what it means. Adonibu Kola Ogunju Melo says, Thank you, sir. You've not been on Instagram in the last two weeks. Eh. It's not that I will be everywhere. <laughs> okay, I should check my inbox. Okay, I'll do that. I'll be everywhere now because we are going boom. So we are going to be everywhere. Daiwil Gaskia says, So can you explain to me further what it means when YouTube says fair use? Fair use is... Uh, you can't cut another person's video and just use it directly, but you can use somebody else's video if you are doing reaction. So you put them small, and then you talk about it. You'll be talking about whatever they're doing. That means it's not about them, but about you that you're reacting to it. You get it? That's fair use. And then if you cut about maybe three seconds from someone, just like GIF, you use like GIF to puncture something that as well can be fair use. Depending, even at that, sometimes some people, video owners will still bring down, you know, your videos if you say something they don't like and you use them in your video, they might bring you down and you might start having copyright strikes and all of that, you know. Rems Akunena says, does faceless YouTube channel have RPM? No, doesn't have high RPM. That one is low. Biblical, anything spiritual is very low. It's like 0 0.1 cent per 1,000 views. Because if you're a pastor, you're a pastor already now. So there's no big deal there. Um, that will Gaskia says, I read it, but I do not understand. So that's where prayer comes in. If you're reading and you're not understanding it, you now have to pray for the spirit of understanding. Uh, Olivia Grace, <clears throat> excuse me. Olivia Grace says, good evening, sir. Your mic was off when, when I think you are responding to my questions. I have special, I have sense. No, you are you are not available. My mic was not off. I will respond to you. Sometimes when you send me something that you want me to do something for you and I've not done that thing, there's nothing to say. So I just said, okay. And then when I do that thing, and if I open the message already, I put it back to markers on red. Otherwise, I won't remember to respond. So I'll, I'll leave it to markers on red because for my one-on-one, -on -one, I always type one on one. So all of my one on one people will come up every day. I just put one on one. It comes up. Then I tend to them first before I go to all other people. That's what I do. So, but if I have clicked and opened your message, even if I type one on one, it won't bring you up again because it will assume I've attended to you. And that's one thing most of us don't know. When I'm not responding, you think, you know, I've seen it and I'm working on it. As soon as I finish, I, I'll be able to trace it back. Because in the early stages of this whole work, that was one thing I was making, doing wrongly. Because if I already typed anything on you, that's, that's it now, which I don't want. But then tomorrow is another day. I'll be able to respond to you very well by God's grace. <clears throat> I think we got to the end of the whole process. Uh, there are no messages again. Right, yeah. We don't have any message again. Thank you very much. Uh, have a great uh, week ahead by God's grace. This week I will upload a little more. Because all the running around and stuff, I think I've uh, I've settled a while, so we'll be able to do more. God bless you. Please stay on course. Know what we are focusing on. In Nigeria, earning dollars is the very real deal. Don't let anybody deceive you anywhere. Just pick one and bang towards it, even if it takes you one year. Look, in the next one year, if you have, let's say, 10 million or 20 million, it's worth it. But you will still not be able to... And if you have it forever, you know, if you start making money online, it will expand so many opportunities for you, which will not dry up and it will continue. It's a big deal. Just focus on it, sir. Focus on it, man. And everything will be well. Have a great week ahead. Have a great night. King Conrad says, okay, boss. Uh, <clears throat> Salon something Trinity says, I've been following you for now. plenty. Good night, good night, good night, good night, good night. <coughs> I think I have to drink water.